one of the greatest trophies in the game awaits the winner of this prominent series. Who is next in line to take home the illustrious Golden Eagle? This is the U.S. Poker Open and its final table coverage of event number one to kick off the 2022 USPO. Coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada, and we are inside the Poker Go studio. Come join us at a stacked final table. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth. Brent, we kick off our series coverage by featuring two Poker Hall of Famers. Uh, well, there goes one of them. Seidel <laughs> says, I'm out of here. I hate the camera. Negranu, Seidel, more than $85 million Woo. combined in earnings, 15 bracelets. What a final table. They both trailed this man, Masashi I. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's take a picture. You're the chip leader at a U.S. Poker Open final table. His fourth career live tournament cash. His first three, top three finishes. Takes more than $4.3 million into today's final table. We take a look at the leaderboard presented by Global Poker. Free poker at its best. Brent certainly won't be easy to hang on to this kind of a chip lead at this kind of a final table. Absolutely not. Uh, everyone is relatively deep with the exception of our short stack. That's Joe Chong. Uh, he's got about 15 big blinds or so, has some work to do, and take a look at these payouts. Jeff. Yeah, more than 200 points in the race for that Golden Eagle trophy, along with $213,900 to our winner. There's a look at the seating chart and kind of a tough draw for Negreanu with Shore and Oya to his left. Yeah, no matter what, really, when you're six-handed at a final table at these majors, no table draw will ever be easy. You're talking about the best players in the world. Joseph Chong, as you mentioned, our short sack. And there he is, Brent Renlin. Tony, no, no gamble, gamble, no, no future. future. Yeah, I love this guy. Our table rounded out by the legendary Eric Seidel. The cards are in the air. Our U.S. Poker Open coverage is underway. Thank you all so much for being here. Stephen Chidwick, the winner of this series in 2018. Oh, David Baba. Peters, the back-to-back -back series champion in 2019 and 2021 blinds 20k 40k with a 40k big blind ante as you oh, see it on the top yeah. of your screen and you see oh yeah pick up two kings to kick things off and on the button too we all we already know he's going to be aggressive in late position especially on the button as the chip leader Ace. and just like this Ace, a couple of cowboys many help I know it says no gamble, no future <laughs> everywhere on, on Tony here, but four deuce yeah, offsuit. Yeah. Four sand, Give it to him, Tony. Yeah. Whoa. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Lady Gaga. <laughs> had an embarrassing fold even. You did? Yeah. <laughs> king like, oh, Gaga. I had a big king. <laughs> big king. Let's recap the 2021 USPO, and there's the champ, Brent. David Peters does it again with three wins in the series. A remarkable 2021 campaign. You mentioned he also won it in 2019 as well. However, a no-show for event number one. He's not playing a lot of poker these days. I guess he's won enough money. He's going to try and make it elsewhere in, in the land of crypto. But you got to try to defend that trophy again. You would think I mean, so, to go you know, back yeah. to back to back. It's a heavy trophy, though. I don't know if there's a, a wall to support it. Speaking of heavy, how about two queens now for Oya? Let's start for our chip leader. Sashi Oya out of Japan. See, draw on these, these TV tables is so big, like just with room. Oh, yeah. This is the best seat here. I mean, oh, like, yeah, you're living I'm, the dream. You're just you know, <laughs> here. You gotta look like this to see the guy. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I saw a team one. Yes. I think you have to, right? You have to you know honor Doyle here. Brunson, 10 do suited. You're not allowed to fold that hand. And it comes Jack 8 6 with two diamonds. Seidel does flop the flush draw. Oh, yes, queens are best. Yeah, watch the legend go. I don't expect him to go bananas here with just a 10 high flush draw. Sort of hand you just want to check call with. He's going to get a great price, seventy-five thousand. Shannon, I told I told Jesse to come. Yeah. He's like, it's first day of March Madness. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Said he's going to watch basketball on the strip. I already I missed the first two calls. games in my bracket. Brutal. <laughs> Turn is the five of clubs. Is oh, you it's some early run bad in March Madness for Shannon Shore. Yeah, well, just madness here at the final table. Up, hopefully, already. 
I'm sure Shannon's not too upset that he gets to play for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some run good for Oya as he fires here on the turn yeah. to the tune of 225,000. He sizes this thing up. Not great for Seidel. I think he recognizes hand strength here from Oya. Unlikely that he would barrel twice with total air. But a flush draw is just too good, Jeff. You have to, you have to put in the money, try and connect. Does connect on the river with a nine of diamonds. And a beautiful ticket as well. You can see it's a one-liner to a straight. Also completing that flush. For Oya, this is a disaster. I don't know what bluffs we would essentially beat low, right now. Perhaps something like six X of clubs that would be so, turning yeah. Seidel's hand in into a bluff. For sure. Oh yeah, it's the queen of diamonds, of course, making it a little less likely Seidel would have a flush. But we can see it's the 10 deuce of diamonds for Seidel in his hand. Just put to the test already by the legend, Eric Seidel. Let's see if Oya can get away from this. Time bank used, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. Seidel check calls flop, check calls turn, leads here on the river. I love it. He's got the muck face. There yeah, it excellent, is. Excellent. Yeah, face lay down. Wow. Shows him. Oh, you voted wow. Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? Oh. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Two Lady Gagas? Gaga. Yes. <laughs> wow. 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 You called me with two Lady Gagas. <laughs> Pocket Gagas. Never voted Lady Gaga. <laughs> you have no chance to get a first place today. <laughs> Look at our chip denominations presented by StormX. Bloomberg's exclusive oh, cryptocurrency man. partner. Blue chips worth 5K, purple chips 25K. <laughs> Those yellow bumblebees are worth 100K a piece. You're a big Lady Gaga fan, right? Big Lady Jeff? Gaga have you seen fan. Yeah, Lady me and Gaga? Tony. Uh, not live, no, but not she's yet? in Vegas over this next month or so. Now, when you her. say not live, that, but you've watched a lot of streams, you tune in whenever they're yeah, available. Not like live concert streams, but I feel like I've seen plenty of Lady Gaga performances over the years. Incredibly talented artists. You do a lot of internet searching for Lady Gaga? No, I mean, sh just listen to her music. Right. Right. Sure, Alabama, raising yeah. it up to 80K. Mm. You don't play clubs. with Alabama. No, no. I Not judging, you know, by the way. I learned. No, I don't play Alabama either. <laughs> no, nah, coach. Don't play we welcome Alabama. You all in on Poker Go, on YouTube, on see, Twitch, coach, on student. Facebook. How about those trophies in the background as well? Oh. You can see those are the new PGT prelim trophies. So today's winner is actually going to walk walk away with one of those yeah, ask me shiny who my gold poker cups. Player is. I said you. I said you. You're my number one favorite Look poker Shannon player. Shore. Hundred percent. <laughs> You, you, the best. You're, you're my number you, one you speak class class 20 consistent. words of English, <laughs> and all are funny. <laughs> 20 words, enough. He can literally have conversations. 20 words, that's it. You know, he got different intonation on the No Gamble, No Future. Touchdown Tom Brady, you know what that means. It's, um, <laughs> never been anyone that. Thank you, Coach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the joy of playing with Ren Lynn. Here it comes, touchdown Tom Brady. 80. I don't think Seidel's really played much football in his life. It <laughs> might not apply to him. Shore with two eights in the big blind. Seidel starting the hand with 40 bigs. Shannon Shore certainly has played with the pigskin from Alabama. Yeah. Deep down south, huge fan of the tide. Got a great spot here, a couple of eights. Assuming Seidel doesn't all have in. two kings. All of it. He could, I guess. It's a beautiful hand. I don't think he does. Suited. Must be suited. <laughs> need like, Ooh, it was oh, a pretty one. Oh, it is pretty. Kings, kings, queens, queens. <clears throat> then you heads up. Oh, no. Just puts yep. a lot of pressure on Seidel, especially with the, a short cold. stack and Joseph Chung at the table. Yeah, and it's, it's a really effective shove. Obviously, what we can see, the sorts of hands that you're going to be able to fold like out. King Jack suited cannot continue. Like that, yeah. Even if 
Seidel had a hand like, a give him ace jack suited there. there. It's going to be very, yeah. very close and Excuse difficult, me. Jeff, for the point that you made with Joseph Chong being so short. 93 entries to kick off the U.S. Poker Open. 14 cashed. <laughs> Nick Schulman finished in eight. Christina Hulse bubbled this TV final table. And Brent in 13th place. No. That would be 16-time World Series of Poker bracelet winner, Phil Helmuth. And I am shocked and thrilled that Phil Helmuth showed up to compete in event number one. We we give it to him all the time about yeah. not coming out here to compete in the majors with the world's best players. And he finally, I guess he's had enough, Jeff. He's heard our broadcast and said, well, that, that's it. I got to go out and show these guys that I've got what it takes. And he damn near got it done. Right. Played next to Negranu for a decent amount of day one. Yeah, and I believe that Helmuth and Seidel clashed in a huge pot yeah. deep into the night. Old all hands game. Helmuth got cooled off. He had ace king, and Seidel had a couple of bullets. Mm. Ten seconds. That's the voice of tournament director Paul Campbell kicking off event number it's two of the USPO and 10K pop. Oh, my dragon comes out. <laughs> oh, yeah, really a beautiful spot here. Applying a ton of pressure to shore. Um, you can see the 5X race sizing. He made it 200,000 out of the big blind after Shannon just limped in with ace four. And that's just great stuff. <coughs> oh, on the eight. Oh, yeah, Nothing yeah. Shore can do. It Pretty was, cool. you know, maybe limp jam, but yeah, that's too many a, chips. When they have their three kids, it'll be probably yeah. too full. But, yeah, I think it would not be there yet. Yeah. Well, they're trying to do it here. A new season of high stakes poker is available now exclusively on Poker Go. Brunson, Negranu, Ivy, and more. Battle of Poker's most iconic cash game. New episodes every Monday, all the way through May 23rd. Subscribe now. Use the code USPO22, USPO22, to get a new annual subscription for less than seven dollars a month. And ooh, 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 has this season been? Oh yeah, really entertaining thus far. And I'm telling you, Jeff, I I was there for the live filming. You won't believe what we have in store for high stakes poker for the remainder of the season. Some of these pots, these characters that are going to be involved in the shows are. Uh, it's as good as it gets. Some fire yeah, awaits. Oh, yeah, limps in with the ace All deuce. Oh, yeah, this is rips probably it with a the call. King Jack. Four, 65. Wait, am I doing that right? Yeah, 470. 505. Really? You know, I think Oya could have just opened ripped here right. and opened shoved rather than. And that would probably than... be a call with the King Jack. <laughs> yeah, Joey what was, was going to call. <laughs> English only, bro. Wow. In a hand. You can't tell him what you had. Wow. He's a, I, I try to whisper it. I hey. heard. I speak fluent Japanese. <laughs> he said you got seven dudes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> natural nine. Yeah, natural nine. Natural eight, natural nine. You have to watch this bakayero. Ooh. Ichiban bakayero. They're going to have to censor you. <laughs> right, easy. We take a look at the field for event number two. Okay, hot yeah, some Colopy different sorts of specialists out yeah. here. A lot of familiar faces, of course. Max Coleman, Jake Daniels. I believe that's There's Adam no real bad word in yeah, Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy Osmus. in there. Osmus, most yeah, like, beautiful like, man in poker. It, 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 yeah. 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 Mentioned cool. Colopy about bad as it gets. six yeah. seconds before you did. Yeah, it was worth it mentioning it again, <laughs> Jeff. Like Romanian, dude, it's the craziest insults ever. It's like, go screw your mother's lamp with a sheepskin, like, it's like the most elaborate, crazy, <laughs> bizarre combination of, like, insults. Like, go your mother's sheeps. We might have to edit this just, one out, you Daniel, know? Daniel, just yeah. because you're quieter doesn't mean the mic does not pick <laughs> hey, you up. Cool, it's a shame, it. too, because Zoya's exactly. got another big <laughs> hand on the My button. Man. Look at this, two tens. And it's just the four deuce again. And it's always four deuce offsuit. This is one way to avoid trouble. Show it to him. Show him the goods. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what crazy. did he show? Pocket tens. Uh, I don't trust the shuffler anymore. <laughs> they want Japan to win this one. <laughs> I almost just. I think he beat full, I think. <clears throat> Storm X, the exclusive cryptocurrency partner of Go. Happy to have them on board throughout the PGT. Throughout this 2022 U.S. Poker Open. Negranu with the King Jack of Diamonds. 
There we go. Come on, Danny. Got a beautiful suited connector here for Shore. Perhaps under different dynamics and situations, he'd consider getting a little out of line there. Three bet call once in a while. But because of the ICM, Jeff, with Joe Chong being so short, stay out of harm's way. Oh, yeah, makes the call. 90, right? Yeah. Ace five of diamonds for Ren Lin. <laughs> uh oh. Touchdown, Tom Brady. <laughs> Lin starts the hand just under oh. 40 bigs. Out of the small blind, gets an okay peel price with that suited wheel ace. We'll go three handed to this flop. Already with 350K in the pot, as you see on the bottom right corner of your screen. And that pop comes queen, nine, nine, with two clubs. Really not the dream for anybody involved. Sure. Negranu with that gut shot. Oh yeah, sixes and nines are best. Uh, Daniel has worked so hard on his game, the, the, the study, understanding what to do with certain hands, textures, yeah. three-way pots. Let's see it, boy. <laughs> Tries to represent some sort of queen or nine. He's just going to check. It's, it's so hard to improve your hand at this point. Just hoping that it checks around and you get to showdown with two sixes. Lane checks again as the eight of diamonds appears on the turn. Daniel with the jack in his hand, Check. perhaps now considering. Once again, got a knuckle. Hopes that he can see a free river card with all that equity. About 24%, as you can see, to win this pot outright. Ten seconds. So she will bet here 150,000. Pretty good sizing too, 150 into 350. A little posturing here from Lynn. Not gonna do anything with just ace high. And with Negranu behind him, he's out of the way. Yeah, Negranu, uh, you know, he's probably gonna fold. Okay, good hand. Another pot for our chip leader out of Japan, Sashi Oya. I heard the voice of tournament director Paul Campbell. He says, we're going to play two more hands at this level. So 40-minute levels, but a new change on the PGT. With Florida? five minutes left in a blind level, no? Paul will draw a number one wow. through four, and that will dictate <laughs> how many hands we play before the level goes up. And Brent, this rule installed to prevent some, <laughs> some manipulation of the clock. It's, you're you're exactly game. right. It, you're, a lot of times you're going to see stalling, certain players game. tanking unnecessarily, using their time banks making sure that they do or don't uh, hit the big blind for yeah. their chips at certain times, or they target and hope that the clock moves faster, or excuse me, that the button moves around faster so that some of the shorter stacks end up in the big blind. So this, uh, this rule is a very good change to prevent all of that from happening. And it appears to have worked very well. Really unanimous positive reviews from everything I've heard yeah. no. from the players. Oya raises it up with the king yeah. deuce of spades. You saw side down, get rid of the fours in the and small blind. And Negranu comes along in the big. Maybe you ring the. Hands up. Oh, you know the candle? Just here. 6 5 3 with two spades. Oh, yeah, Fox, the flush draw, the gutter, and his king high is best. It absolutely smashes this flop with. The flush draw and the straight draw. Like Not to mention, he just still has the best hand. Yeah, I agree. May elect to get chips in the middle right now. He would comfortably <laughs> play for stacks like against Negranu. If you draw a car, it sucks. I know, I don't draw. There's, no, yeah. there's, no, there's, no, there's no parking lot. Uh, I know. And a new look for Negranu, Jeff. He's uh, Ooh, you got skill, lost the glasses. No glasses. He had a little LASIK eye <laughs> surgery. Looks game younger. Changer. Let us know in the chat who y'all are rooting for. 
Coach, how much you got? A 1.2 million? 3.5. And if you don't have LASIK, uh, yeah, yeah. take a look at Zenny. I work for everyone. Million. Oh, yeah. Same, same. I think Negrana was wearing a pair of Zennies prior to LASIK. I can't confirm that, Jeff, but that's... Okay, <laughs> look into that. my sources Get the stats department on that. Average is how much? Let me see. Don't play with Ali Baba. <laughs> Mark in the chat. What do we know about Oya? Oh, yeah, not much. Late night suited. Full full coach. Late night suited. The first three caches of his no. tournament career are eight, as follows. Eight, he three, won an eleven hundred dollar MSPT at Venetian, right. finished third at a ten K Venetian high roller, and second at a twenty five K Venetian high roller. Those are his only three career tournament caches before this one. They came in the last three and a half months, and he has a first, a second, and a third. All right, well, easy nickname. We call him the Podium. The Podium. I Artist. like it. We call him the Podium. So you see the blinds go up 25K, 50K, with the 50K big blind <laughs> ante, and the Podium as our chip leader is about 90 bigs. Shore in a comfortable second place. Seidel, Lynn Negranu kind of bunched up in that three through five range, and Chong are short stack. Oh, yeah. Here we go, no gamble, no future. Red Come on, Lynn. Tony. We call him Tony. He says his friends can call him Tony, and I think we're all cool, Redlands right? friends. No, 2550. 125. Goes two and a half X here with the chip leader in the big blinds. Cool for Alabama. Ooh. Wow, it looks down at two eights. Oh yeah, gets a lot of hands, doesn't Lynn he? started the hand with 30 bigs. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. You got trouble now, you got trouble. Ace, eight, six. One thing. Yeah, you've Squeeze. got it. The top is the pairs. You've also got that three to the royal mm. draw. Oya really could have moved it all in with those stack there sizes. With those yeah. stacks, exactly. Sort of let Lynn off the hook. I don't know if Tony was going to call with Ace Jack offsuit pre flop. We'll oh, never oh. know. Oh. Huh? Eight. Eight? Eight, eight. eight, eight. Shows eight, eight, that piece of eight. diamonds. Eight, eight? Yes. Yeah. Really tight, really? Eight, eight? Yeah. A good one for okay, Lynn, he beat me. who has burst we'll on the, the scene later. Don't be lying, huh? in the last <laughs> yeah. couple of years. We mentioned Oya's first cash came in December of 2021. How about Eric Seidel's first cash? It came in 1988 at that World Series of Poker main event. Oh, my god! When he lost heads up to Johnny Chan. You may have seen that scene in Rounders once or twice or 350 times. Negrani's first cash came in 97. Seems like a liar. Bad flop for 8-8. There's a look at the nine-time bracelet winner. 8-8, eight, eight, good fold. His ninth bracelet came online at the GG Super Millions bracelet event last year. That score good for almost $1 million. And Brent, that's a worthy bracelet in, the, in that tournament. Oh. You know, you can have the online versus live bracelet debate as much as you want, but that specific tournament, that's loaded. Between the two, Seidel and Negrano, they have 15 bracelets combined. And that's still fewer than Alabama. Phil Helms. Yeah, totally. to our 16 outright. Let that sink in. If you see that, you should. Alabama, that you should. Daniel in the YouTube chat. Them. Jeff and the other guy. Decent mm -hmm. lineup, could be better. Must be a salary cap decision. Save a few bucks with the other guy. Exactly. And I think Brent will admit that too. Yeah. yeah. Just purely salary cap. <laughs> we pay them to get in the booth for these events. It seems to work out well. We have a great time watching along with you guys. It's like people ask me if I'm Chinese. You're just like, hey, you're American, <laughs> Alabama. One 
Oh yeah, opens here with the Queen Eight of Spades. Lin with King Deuce off and 30 bigs and Chong with less than 10 now. Two kings. <laughs> Easy, easy, easy. He's had enough folding. He's yeah. mucked the first and three orbits the from the big blind. Now King Dewey off. Oh, watching Good me. enough. I'm watching. I'm watching. Ace Queen eight. All hearts. Bottom two for Oya. Ay ay ay. He's not listening. I'm losing. Oh. Aye, 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 aye. There it is. <laughs> Just keep showing it to him. Shows him the goods. Too fair. Yeah. Yeah. I think he hit the 90, 10 times he hit the 9 times the plot. Uh, thank you guys That's all for tuning in. YouTube, Twitch, and of course, Poker Go. Who you got today? Chip leader Oya, out on top 4.4 million, short 2.6. Tony, no gamble, no future, 1.4 million. Seidel, Negreanu, very similar stacks. And our short stack still, Joe Chong. Let us know, who are you rooting for here today? I'm not allowed to say, Jeff. I know you can't either. We have to be right down the middle. We right cannot be middle, biased at all. Extremely unbiased. That's what everybody calls the right. two of us. Just a very professional broadcast crew. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's no way I would ever root for the guy that's wearing our podcast, No Gamble, No Future, hat and hoodie. Right, right. No you, way that's, would I ever yeah, that's be you're such rooting for him. Right. Exactly. Sure. And that man has made it 400,000 out of the small blind, the non all in three bet with the ace nine off. Very effective, I believe. This applies a ton of pressure but look at oh yeah he is not here to fold he says give me that hoodie pal no gamble no future i want to peel so i'm going to play this one in position against you perhaps put some pressure on you later seven six deuce one diamond a couple back door draws for oh yeah Lin's ace high is best We've seen this kind of fearless nature from Lynn throughout these last couple months Love as we've gotten to official. know him. Let's go. <laughs> he will not hesitate to put chips in the middle. Oh, yeah, not done. He's got the, the two overcards, backdoor flush and straight draw. Problem is, oh, yeah, it's just so short. He's only got 750 behind, or excuse me, Lynn. If he's going to do it, he That's might just good. stick it all in right here and say, let's see if you've got it. Full foe. Finds the fold. He got one. Let's see one. <laughs> I don't know which one he picked, Same. but the reaction was going to be exactly the same. <laughs> right, right. If you like that hat, you like that hoodie, head on over. Check out shop.pokergo.com. We got it all in store for you. And even some new looks. And no new game, looks, no new apparel, it's all there. The store is updated. You can get there before you even see your the marketing email launch that hasn't even gone oh. out. So this is uh, a little spoiler. <coughs> Exclusive. The store is stocked up. Get in there now. Ren Lin with two final tables at the 2021 World Series. Finished second at the 50K high roller where Daniel Negreanu was third. Lin also finished third in a 5K. We got to know him really just by hearing him shout, no gamble, no future, throughout the Rio. We're like, we like this guy. And here he is now at the Poker Go studio. Touchdown. Touchdown, Tom Pulls Brady. Down. Pulls down. Pulls Tom down. Brady? What's down. Oh, first down, he says oh. this time. Well, side out says, I don't think so. This is beautiful hand. 27 big blinds out of the small blind. King, queen of puppy paws. Oh. Flicks in a call. Uh, yeah. I got a trouble now. Bigger trouble. <laughs> Negranu out of the way. Easy, easy boss man. Friendly. <laughs> easy boss man. Any more he quarterbacks says. you think Ren can name? <laughs> Ace, <laughs> <laughs> uh, six, deuce, no club. Seems like a guy that could enjoy some American football. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him three more. How much you got? I'm going to take zero. <laughs> I think Tom Brady's it. <laughs> Ten 
seconds. Ayo. 75. Cool, Fo. Show the boss man the goods. There it is. Yeah. Boss oh. man gets shown the ace. Oh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you you take a note. <laughs> never block. On final table, never block. Very tight. Event number one of the 2022 U.S. Poker Open brought to you in part by Global Poker. Free poker at its best. King Tang, right? I think. That's your King favorite thing. King Queen. King Queen? Wow. <clears throat> And there was a time, Jeff, where Seidel, you look down at King Queen suited, you say, okay, I've got about 25 big blinds. This guy no open, I am just moving it all in. But the game, the strategy has changed so much okay, where oh, Seidel's not gonna do I'm that. Like Joe Chong money. has eight bigs. <laughs> all, all thanks to you. Don't give away money. <laughs> the hand's too too good to, to simply, you can't just fold, but he's gonna call rather than move it all in. About a 19K pay jump from six to fifth. 150. Negranu will raise out of the small blind with King Jack. 6 5 offsuit for sure in the big. Sorry, about 1.1. Thank you. <clears throat> Shore makes the call. Negranu with 20 bigs behind. Jack six deuce pairs for both top pair for Negranu. Yeah, this is trouble for sure. Uh, extremely dry flop. You have middle pair. You can see he's already debating. If Daniel comes with with a C bet here, which we fully expect, what is optimal? Ten seconds. Depending on the sizing of this bet, it looks like Negranu is going to size it up. Oh, interesting. Wow. It goes about two thirds, 225K. With 735K behind. These are two very methodical, high level thinking players. The Shannon is ingesting the information. What hands would Daniel do this with? Would he ever do it with King Queen? Just total air. Shore makes the call. 800K now in the pot. Negranu is 735K behind. Seven of diamonds on the turn. Uh, Daniel knows, okay, I have the best jack right now. The question is, if Shore does have a six, what sixes is he defending from the big blind? Is it four six suited, five six off, six seven off? Eight six is also reasonable. 10 seconds. And there's, there is also the world where we just have oh, Shannon no, dominated with the best jack. No. Today. Today? Nothing. Is it nothing. Just money. Goes about quarter and pot glory. here, 225,000. You don't want money? Just glory? Yeah. Well, you better play PLO very very good then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. When I went there, I was pretty. The sizing is very interesting. interesting. He went three quarters on the flop, and then he goes quarter pot. On the turn, yeah, yeah. he just—I think Negrano feels yeah. like he has the absolute nuts it right be, now. It should be fine. Yeah, we'll make it. Trying to get a little bit more value. He was worried that if he did this shove, bust people quick. Shannon would fold all of his sixes. A nice lay down there by Shannon. It really is, yeah. Touchdown, Tom Brady. Nice hand. Fifteen years into Shannon's poker career, he finally has a nickname. We <laughs> 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 take a look at Daniel Negrano's bio board. <laughs> presented by GPI THM. And with a fifth place finish or better today, he'll pass the $46 million mark at Career Live Tournament earnings. It's really remarkable. If you look at his, his Hendon Mob, his resume, up until last year's Poker Go Cup, Daniel Negrano did not have a single victory past 2013. He went 2013 to 2021 without having a single win on his resume. Now, 2022, he already has two W's on the Poker Go Tour, and he obviously is looking for his third one here today. But what a what an absolute, uh, that stretch, 
how frustrating. A number of runner-up finishes, top three finishes, but didn't have one single victory. 2013 to 2021. To your point, just kicked down the door after that Poker Go Cup win and a 50K last year and then winning the actual series trophy. Won a 10K at the Poker Masters last year, a 25K at the Poker Go Cup this year, trying to repeat as champion. Jeremy Osmus got there and won a 15K at High Roar just weeks before this USPO. Oh yeah, just folds ace high. Nice lead by Shore, take that pot down. Yeah, and I really, Shore's gonna have the advantage in these blind on blind confrontations with our chip leader. He's so much more experienced, so well studied. And Oya, oh yeah, obviously, we, we saw what we think was possibly a mistake with the ace deuce earlier when he limped in from the small blind and Joe Chong shoved in King Jack. He ended up having to fold ace high. So it's, uh, keep an eye on those blind on blind matchups between Oya, Shore, and Oya and Chong. Shannon and his wife have a baby girl. Nora is four months old. Great stuff. And of course, Shannon uh, just recently married as well. Congratulations to, to the Shore family. Been around a long time, Shannon Shore. Yeah. I mean, I when I first started playing, here we go. A shove now from the small blind oh. Oya. Good enough, and there's the call. Chong makes the call. Here we go. Lady Joseph Lady. Chong all in and at risk. I don't know. Lady Gaga? Yeah, Lady Oya. Oh, but I don't With know. Queen Jack <laughs> against Oya. <laughs> you know, Lady across. Gaga's coming? Well, yeah, ace but, uh, but maybe Ace is coming too. Ace and Lady Gaga. I don't want to see that, but you know. <laughs> I want to see that, see the Lady Gaga first. Huh? Chong on the ropes, but if he finds a win, he's at about 16 bigs. <coughs> Just about a 40 60 dog. Wow. Gonna wow. be tough. Hey, no... Going that's to be tough. Out. Down hey, to runner, runner. Yeah, we can always make the wheel. Night. Back to our Broadway. There's awesome. plenty of outs here, yeah. Jeff. Give us a little bit of a sweat and Jack. Just you know, a sweat. Back. Okay, and that'll do it. Yeah, that'll show? do it. All right, good game, Joey. Yeah. Okay, we'll go Dina Ping Ping Pong. Short and sweet. Joseph okay. Chong, Allen Six, 55,800 hours, 56 points in the race for the Golden Eagle Trophy. Anytime you final table event number one, that's a great start to the series no matter where you finish. Joey will now have the opportunity to hop in event number two. They're playing PLO on the outside. So he's going to collect his prize money from that manila envelope. I don't really think the prize money's in the envelope, Jeff, but it, it could be. It, it might yeah. be. Um, How about Candace here, tournament director? I love yeah. the green. St. Patrick's Day. Oh, you know, you Jeff, I don't, you don't that. celebrate these things. That's why well, I wore I my green just, pants. You don't oh, celebrate okay. anything, but it is uh, well, it is St. Patty's Day here in the United Thank States. You. That is a big. Yeah, go get my glasses. Oh well, it's a big beverage day. So you might have a few today in honor of St. Patrick's Day, of course, just because. Have a few. I've what time is it, Jeff? I mean, you don't, you don't think I already got and we're started? Working. Um, and I woke up, realized what day it was, and yeah. said, okay, it's go time. He's not a diamond for Negrano. Shannon, you're the only one at the table that's going to celebrate this wonderful holiday. A little green shirt, kind of a darker green, but it's a qualifier. It counts. It yeah. Counts. I didn't. One you don't have a single yeah. piece of green on you. I don't. Ace Jack of Spades. Yeah, no small line. No small line. No, no worth it. <laughs> Grani with 30 hmm. bigs to start the hand. Lynn okay, 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 okay. Glances at the clock. Call you. Okay. Just call. calls No here. small blind still call. Must be good hand. Very good hand. Mm -hmm. These two known for good. their table talk. 10 Ooh. 8 7 with two spades. Lynn flops the A side flush draw. Negrani with the open ender. Okay, check up for you, coach. Yeah. Go on, coach. Yeah. Coach okay. Negrani. Check for you, student. <laughs> <laughs> check, check. Board pairs on the turn. And yeah, Negrani happy to check there. That's horrible texture for his hand. Obviously, it seemingly typically will favor. The big blind defense efforts, and uh, you'll see a big blind lead a lot. Yeah, these you're going to see this this bet right now. He should he have is. a lot of the eights. Clearly, he's got <laughs> a ton much? of equity. Says I don't know how much. <laughs> Just pile some chips into the middle. 
Daniel thinking, oh, well, I've got ace high. That's good enough. I'm well, hoping I Watching the uh, uh, TV later. Watch that hand on TV? Yeah. <laughs> I will watch that hand on TV, and I'll be like, wow! Touchdown Tom Brady, huh? Good fall, good fall. OK, thank you. <laughs> good fall, good fall. <laughs> it's real good hand. I, yeah, I believe you. It'd be great if he just had, like, four or five there. <laughs> So take a look at that Watch, one yeah. on TV. You're going to love watching TV later. Now Negrani will be just fine watching that one back. Our final five guaranteed $74,400. Again, we'll jump up a little less than 19K to our fourth place payout. 93K, more than $213,000 up top and 214 points in the race for the Golden Eagle Trophy pole position. Brent, you're a big racing guy. You'd understand the reference. There. I'm really starting to get into racing, yeah. believe it or not. The uh, the F1 series. Drive you to survive. You're, you're telling me about Woo. this documentary series. You and I had the opportunity to go to dinner with a, a NASCAR racer, Landon Castle, a couple weeks ago. That's Talked fascinating. about under the hood. Really was the parallels with how they how they run sims for NASCARs or, or NASCAR in accordance to the track and the conditions. Very similar no, to no, no. the sims you hear about in today's day and age with poker. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's how to optimize uh, performance. Obama. Their sport has evolved much like this game has evolved. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> watching video, how good? Seidel with the queen nine of spades. These are short a stack, but not a short oh. stack. Still about <coughs> 25 bigs to start this hand. He'll defend. Jack All right. 10 4 with one spade and one diamond. So an open ender for both and a backdoor flush draw for both. But let there be action. Seven. Sure, that's small here. Sidehill keeps finding himself in these spots out of the big blind where he just has a, a great price Four. for drawing. Brings another jack. Yeah. No flush draw now for either player. I think Shore has a right to be concerned about Seidel. He, if he had a jack, he may elect to play it very similar to this. He would just check call flop. He would absolutely check the turn with trips. 270. Oh, my. Short says He's going to blow Seidel out of the yeah, water well done, here with a huge thing. second barrel. That's beautiful yeah, stuff by Shore. Never win. Those two Can thirds be. gets the job done. I told the ace, please shoot it. Three up. So time. You know, we talk about Negranu, <laughs> Seidel, legends of the game. Well, Shannon Shore is. He's there, right? Yeah. He's been around a long time despite his young age. 2022 World Series of Poker is right around the corner. There is no better time than now to lock in a PokerGo subscription so you don't miss any of the action. Sign up for a new annual subscription or just upgrade now using the promo code USPO22 to save $20 off the yearly price. That World Series right around the corner, really? I can't believe it. I can't believe it's almost away. here, yeah. What will you be doing for the series? Uh, probably nothing, Jeff. You know, okay. They never give me any work during the World Series. So uh, I'm hoping to be your producer on the floor. I do need a producer the floor, on the sidelines. Maybe we fantastic. could just make some cool content for, for CBS Sports. What do you think about Sounds that? Sounds good to me. Yeah. You and I really don't get to spend enough time together. Uh, I don't know. Other than, like, every day. I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah. Seidel limps in with the ace four of diamonds. Negranu raising to 175K. Seidel just flicks in a call. Thought that might have been one of those limp shove hands off this Ren, can you grab side. A little side surprise, he is the short stack. No. <laughs> with 20 bigs, go side, go side. Uh, this could be player dependent where, yeah, Daniel can absolutely raise it up with total zero hands. But I mean, you got ace four suited. I think it's a limp jam. Not that I would ever question. Of course, of course. Of course. The great one, Eric Seidel. 
Especially when you're just going to do this, <laughs> you know, turn the old harmless sailboat and jump way out in front. Seven on the river, the straight comes in for Negrano. Mm -hmm. What kind of sizing does he go for here? And a, you know, an interesting line, right, where uh, would Seidel expect yeah, him to check a lot of nine X's? Typically that would come along with some sort of pair unless it's king nine, ace nine. He's representing that straight. Seidel is nothing but a bluff catcher. If he, if he thinks Daniel just has to bet with a hand like king-queen for whatever reason, if he didn't bet that. Ace-queen, ace-king. Yeah. Good fold. He may regret not limp jamming, but when he goes back to, to watch the tape, he'll see he, he played it perfectly. Poker fanboy in me says, pretty cool to see these two going at it. Oh, it really is <laughs> remarkable. I mean, just two icons, Hall of Famers. Uh, on the Mount Rushmore, if you will. And yeah, you said it, and there it is. Kenny, Bonimo, Negreanu, Peters, and Seidel. And if, if Seidel plays the rest of this U.S. Poker Open, very live to move up to fourth place on the all-time money list. Yeah, we mentioned Peters, too. He's, uh, he's not going to be playing as much poker, at least that's what he said, towards the beginning of the year. I don't know how long he'll stay in that top five. If he's not going to be out there grinding. We'll see if he comes along, Jeff. He, he played the Poker Go Cup. He came out for the big one. Final table did, of course. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh yeah, opens here with the Jack-10. Negreanu calling out on the small blind with the ace-jack. Queen, nine, three, two diamonds. Negreanu's ace high is best. Oh yeah, with the open ender. Eighty. Daniel does have that jack of diamonds. Does have a great price. Ace Jack can clearly still be the best hand. He's gonna take one off. Does check call. Ten on the turn. A pair of tens for Oya. Now on Negranu with the straight draw. Check. Negranu also has the ace of spades in his hand. It would be a, a you know a bit of a creative line if he did try and represent. <laughs> on the river, some sort of shovel presence. And here comes Oya again. Just picks up that pair of tens with the open-ended draw. Chooses to fire again. 225,000. Very aggressive line by Oya. such a brutal spot when you get check raised here and you just have middle pair with that draw. Let's see if it did, call. what did Daniel do? Yeah, he's just gonna call. All of a sudden, 930,000 in the middle. River is a blank. <laughs> I don't think Daniel would expect Jack-10 no to, be, to be betting there, but Daniel yeah, will be happy. Mm -hmm. More continues to accumulate, yeah. yeah for oh yes. Easy coach. Mm -hmm. It's his third cash on the PGT this year. It's everybody's third cash on the PGT this year, except for Daniel Negreanu. It's his sixth. Negreanu in 10th, the 2022 PGT. And this points race, as we move throughout the year, will be very, very important considering this $500,000 free roll. Yeah, top 21 in December on the PGT leaderboard will qualify for a $500,000 winner take all <laughs> event, the PGT <laughs> Championship, which will happen in December inside the studio. All in. All in. 
Seidel shoves with sevens. And a and quick call wow. from Oya with Ace King, wow. and here wow. we go. Fair fight. Fair fight, yeah. <laughs> Fair fight, an accurate description of this one. Seidel all in and at risk with the sevens against Masashi Oya's Ace King. Ace in the window, That's ace jack eight. <coughs> Side down needs a seven or a runner runner to make a straight. Well, Ten does pop up on the turn, like. opening up a couple outs for Seidel. Looking for a nine, looking for a seven. Doesn't find it right. on the river. Right. That'll do it for Eric Seidel. His fifth place finish earns him $74,400 and 74 okay. points, Brent, right, in the race for the Golden Eagle yeah, Trophy. And he just yeah. eliminated <laughs> one of the most iconic players of all time. What a, a bucket list sort of moment yeah. experience for Oya. As his domination continues thus far today. I don't think Seidel plays a lot of PLO, would not expect him to come back in here. Oh yeah, now up to almost six million in chips, which is almost half the chips in play. Five off. Tony looks down at two red jacks. Please. One fifty. Oh. <laughs> Brent Lynn will show him the goods. Don't bluff with me. Good one, good one. Never bluff. My coach bluffed, but I didn't bluff. Just call. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Just call. Look at our chip denominations presented by Storm X Blue Chips. Um, 5K a piece. <laughs> 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 Those are 25,000. Those lovely bumblebees worth 100K a piece. Oh, yeah. Sure, Lynn Negreanu, our final four, all guarantee $93,000. Another $18,600 pay jump at stake next. Always fun to see these two tango. Too much. 1.1 behind. Too much. Too much okay, for you. Okay. Friendly, friendly. Chat. Okay. Friendly. I'm sitting at Granu checks. We'll let these two take it from here. Impossible not to like this guy. It really is. Great attitude. Says four things, and I love them all. Yeah. 50. Let's back. Let's back. Huh? Okay. Lady Gaga. No, Lady Gaga. You beat Lady Gaga? Uh, no, Lady Gaga. I got Lady Gaga. Oh, no, you bet Queen. Only high. one. Only one Lady Gaga. I got Ace High. You don't have Ace High. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> see? I'll see the video. Catch you. <laughs> Ace High, you call 100%. <laughs> you are my coach. You know my range, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> you know, Tony busted me out of WPT Seminole. That doesn't surprise yeah. me. What were the hands, Jeff? Did you get it in good? No, no, I didn't. You I, bluff all the time. I, You're no, really, no, it's no, remarkable. I, it, well, he had aces. I, I was never Obama. supposed to have aces. <laughs> but what did you have? <laughs> Jacks. Oh, you actually had a, a I premium. I actually had hands. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Alabama. But he had aces. I'm sorry, Alabama. Did he give strong. you the speech and everything? He said, no <laughs> gamble, no <laughs> future. No <laughs> gamble, no future. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of gambling sorry, when you have aces right. and the other he guy has jacks. down at aces. Yeah. <laughs> Friendly, Alabama. <laughs> Isn't that two stacks of paint? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. He said, ooh. Thank you. Easy, easy, Alabama. Easy, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Alabama referring to Shannon Shore from the Alabama. great state. I'm, I'm calling him Alabama here on oh, out. Oh, today's another Alabama day. Shore. Today's 17, right? 
King 6-6 six, six with two clubs. Shore pops the flush draw. Couple backdoor draws for Lynn. Alabama friendly, friendly. Alabama will appreciate the friendly sizing here. Let me win one time. <laughs> Be friendly, Alabama. Hey, Paul. And this is a really good break spot at the end of this level sure. or the next he, one? He has all okay. the sixes. And he's going to try and represent that. A, a semi bluff. Obviously, he's got wow, the puppy paws, the flush draw. Tang high. Close. Yeah, <laughs> there's the check raise. Wow. In this spot, Brent, perhaps ace jack much more likely oh, to call than queen Alabama. jack. Yeah. Don't bluff Alabama. Yeah, fair Alabama fight. No I, bluff, you know, right? I don't, I don't blame Lynn for no bluff. a little no sea bluff. bet we'll there. See video later. Okay, don't be lying. And I love don't Shannon Shore's <laughs> check <laughs> raise. Uh, a lot of times yeah, yeah. you just see check calls with flush draws, but because oh, of the sort of the dynamic later. where I think it's high. Shannon can ten have high? all the sixes, flush he can draw? apply no, max draw? pressure, just ten knowing high that even if he doesn't make his flush, he's going to represent a six the entire way through. Yeah, the 8-5 could have easily had the 8-6, could have easily later. had the 5-6. Don't play with Alabama. But I think a turn is good for him. Yeah. I don't like Alabama. Two more hands left at he this like level. He doesn't like him, bro. He might like Shannon, but maybe he doesn't like the state of oh. Alabama. That That's reasonable. I think Tony's been to Bama? Well, yeah, he's, he's got frozen some, yogurt he shops in Georgia. in Georgia. Why would yeah. he been in Alabama? Yeah. Maybe they didn't let him open up his yogurt shop in Alabama. Perhaps. We got to go to that yogurt shop. I love yogurt. Not surprised. Negrano with the green cup. Of yogurt. That's pretty what is thick he yogurt. Eating? What is that, like <laughs> some sort of vegan chili? What is that? Looks like goulash. I mean, he eats almost as much as Phil Helmuth <laughs> does at the table. True. Different Slightly diets, healthier. of course. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Shore leads on the turn. Oh, look at this. Oh, my. With just the Jack-7 offsuit. I did no not club. know he had this in him. Is he really going to go for this? I, this would, seconds. this could work. Three, Makes no it 325,000. No With a stone zero holding. He has absolutely nothing. Oh, yeah. YOLO. Shore makes the call. Wow, look at that. He does not believe him whatsoever. I don't know, River, and now. Oh, wow, he's going oh, yeah. fast, reaching quick. Jack in his hand, perhaps a little more valuable. Six, seven, five. Comes after it, 675,000. Wow. This is really strong by Oya. Absolutely targeting a one pair holding, exactly what Shannon has. Even if, even if you had king six in this spot, you're not loving life. 10 seconds. Staring down the chip leader, told us before play, he's pretty unfamiliar with Tommy. Musashi. This is where Shannon's experience, his instincts. Look at this. So he's trying to pick up anything he can. He's doing little movements with his mouth. This is great. Oh. <clears throat> can sure find the call. 10 seconds. Oh, 
Sophia is not giving him anything. Looks right back at him, kind of looks comfortable, yet nervous at the same time, which I think he'd look exactly the same if he had a good hand. This is beautiful. That's what it's all about right here. So the moment <laughs> yeah. to define a final table performance. This is call. all about your instincts. He what says a call. call. What a call. <clears throat> and Shannon oh, Shore oh, call. drags a sizable pot <clears throat> after that hero call. <clears throat> it pained him to do it. There is but he found it. nothing better, Jeff, Don't right now. That Alabama. moment when you when you Alabama. pick him Thank off. A huge bluff, and you're right. Oh, man, that feeling inside, that's what this game's all about. And you got to love it. Look at how close Shore now is to Oya on our leaderboard, presented by Global Poker, free poker at its best. Oya about 4.6, Shore about 3.8. Renlin in third. Daniel Negranu is in fourth. As the blinds do go up, 30K, 60K, 60K big blind ante. So Negranu, about 20 bigs. Hello. Alabama, that's got to get you juiced up, yeah. baby. Shannon Shore, legend. No discount, no discount. 36 years young. You can bet by the time he's 40, he'll be on the docket for the Poker Absolutely. Hall of Fame, no doubt about it. Shore with almost $9.5 million in career live tournament earnings. First in the great state of Alabama. Second, any idea? From the great state of Alabama, yeah. who is second from Alabama? That wore a cowboy hat Ooh. back in the day. Ooh. Hoyt Corkins. Yes, sir. Hoyt Corkins. Yes, sir. Wow. Shore is currently second in the GPI <laughs> Global Rankings. He's in second place behind Ali Amshurovich. Yeah, Shore made a run at it in 2021. He almost won Player of the Year, the Global Rankings as well. There you see the level moving up. Big screen behind our players. Don't fold, Daniel. Huh? Don't fold. And Jeff, who won Thanks. Player of the Year <clears throat> Global Poker Rankings? Uh, that would be one on Liam Shurovich. And he also won the PGT Player of the Year, Yes, Jeff? he did. My Decent. Goodness. I knew Ever? the answers to those, like... by the way. I was just testing. <laughs> you were the host of that show. Did you know oh, that, Oh, the Jeff? Global Poker Awards? You were the host, Jeff. I was the you did host. did a great job. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. appreciate your support. I mean, you weren't there, but it, your support right. from afar no, I meant a lot. I was yeah. very dialed in. Three million, not yet, soon. You said a lot of very 60, nasty right? things yeah. about me, and I loved it. Oh, I don't mean I was pretty polite. At one point, oh, I did say friendly, I, easy, I didn't know how you still had a job. Okay, but friendly. I say that all the time. Right, well, which is true. Right. I don't know how I have but a job. Nobody knows. And by the way, if you guys are tuning in on YouTube, I love this point that was See just that? made by Hugh Jorgen. We got 8,000 people tuned okay. in. Hit the thumbs up oh. for crying out loud. We got to hit at least 1,000 likes and thumbs up on our YouTube channel. Do the same thing over Check. on Twitch. Help okay, us right. out. Okay. If you like these free Thank streams, well, we want to bring you more, but you got to show your support. Click that thumbs up now. Sixes and threes for Negrano. Sixes for Lynn. Let us know in the chat where you're watching us from. We know we have a worldwide audience. We appreciate every single one of you tuning in. He's it's always good to get a feel of where y'all are tuning in from. Yeah? Never bluff. No. Never bluff? Watch the video. How much? 135. Good head. No, <laughs> he said no. I have good head. Ace queen, no good. Ace queen, no good? I don't have ace queen. But have to see. How much? 135? Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you, Coach. Touchdown, Tom Brady. Coming. What do you want to? Jet? Queen on the river. Now Daniel knows he's got him right where he wants him. Two pair. Clearly the best of it. He's just hoping that Lynn has some sort of king in this spot. If he were up against a nine, what's the right price to get called? Tony just doesn't believe him. He's high. He's tang, huh? Uh. Ten seconds. Yeah. 
Okay, I'll watch the video later. Yeah, watch video later. Okay. <laughs> oh, watch video later. No call, right? Same thing, hundred percent. No. We'll see you later. How many pair I got? How many pair? No pair. Many pairs. Very many pairs. <laughs> no pair. You'll see the video. Many pair. Really? Many pair. How many pair? No pair. Not zero. Sixty. Not one. How many? Two pair. Two. <laughs> two pair. Really? Maybe. Don't believe me. Yeah, two pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Have already two pair before River. Really? Yeah. Wow. You're slow though. Slow play. Oh, slow Let play you bluff. Sure. Let student bluff. <laughs> I got six. Me too. I got Whoa. six. I got six too. The Liverpool got another six. I got home. Oh, big trouble. <laughs> big trouble, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga River. <clears throat> King Queen for sure. Oh. Alabama. Oya, oh, yeah. round two. Shore picked off a huge bluff from Oya not too long ago. Held him up to second in chips. Oh, King on the turn. <laughs> Jeff, just use this. Hang I've got a hanky here. Clearly it wasn't me. It? That was Negroni. Yeah. It's on camera. Flop checks through. Turn checks through. Now Oya just trying to get to showdown with ace high. I don't think Shore's going to be having any of that now on the river. Just hoping to get a little bit of value. Meanwhile, you guys have chimed in with where you're watching us from. Arkansas, Los okay. Angeles, H-Town, Toronto, Nashville, England, Vegas, Greece. The worldwide, Nashville. Worldwide. Been a lot, was there 10 years ago? Arkansas, Romania, Australia, Scotland. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Much appreciated. It's hard. I love my mm -hmm. strong. Maybe cold. Medical. Keep those thumbs up coming on yeah. our YouTube channel. We got to hit 1,000 today. We want to bring you another free stream tomorrow. Keep on clicking, folks. Give us the likes. How about this What's guy? up, Hayes? There he is. Our crew member of the day. I oh, like yeah. this. What a walk-in. Look at that swag. Hayes Chestnut. The Chestnut boys. They make this studio run. Yes, they do. Love that. Crew member of the day. Your walk-in not feature where you almost ran the trophy into the wall. You can find that on social media. I think I tweeted that at Jeff Platt. You did, Jeff. Yeah, I retweeted you as well. Okay, well, he's at Buffalo yeah. Hanks. Yeah. Follow us both. Follow Poker Go while you're at it. They're probably just at Poker Go. Gotta love Hayes. He runs the yeah. expression machine in the back. Yeah, One of many like jobs. A it's a very yeah, complicated know, jobby. Up. Hates it when I sit no, next to him and just start Mark. rambling yeah, probably. during Don't the middle up. of a production. Much like how you yep. think of me That's here in the booth. My job. Yeah. My friend, easy, easy. <laughs> Good point from Stan in the chat. We mentioned Shannon was second in the GPI Global Rankings. Brent Hanks, 21,000th. Really? I thought I was lower than yeah. that. I don't even know the last, I mean, I played the Storm X Invitational, but I don't did know the last did, time I played poker. Not cash. Outside of that. Oh yeah, check calls with Queen High and the backdoor flush draw on does turn a seven. <laughs> Lynn's nines are still best. Uh, Banana Man, did I hear it right? <laughs> Another free stream tomorrow? That's right. Well, we just hit a thousand likes. Thank you guys. Keep them pouring in. Beautiful. The more we get, our bosses see it and they say, oh yeah, we got people tuning in. We're, we're gonna give these guys more free shows. We're definitely back tomorrow. Not you and I though, Jeff. We're uh, uh, fired. fired. We're fired after We're yeah. waiting for this moment for a while. Yeah. 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 Small. Ali Najad and Len Ashby oh. doing the PLO commentary That's tomorrow. Probably a good thing if you're a PLO you fan to have them and not have us. Why is that, Jeff? I would just I just have more faith in our No Limit Hold'em commentary than our Pot Limit Omaha. <laughs> Sends the chips in Oya's direction, yeah, but he's actually going to take them. I think he hit the three. Oh, 
Oh, don't bluff, don't bluff. That's not bluff. Not bluff. He wasn't bluffing. And Brennan, looks like uh, the expression <laughs> machine is pair. not run by, it, by oh, Hayes. Okay. Hayes okay. runs the, the Mira, the replay machine. That's, That's what I said, the, the Mira. Expression. You said oh, expression. I said expression. I was yeah. thinking express where you get your suits. So the Mira is Hayes, Tanner's expression. It, there's there's all these Lots gadgets, of Jeff. A lot of gadgets in the back. It's better off that I'm not in there. They keep me out. We put Lynn on Georgia's all-time money list. A bit of a stretch. I mean, he has the yogurt shop there. <clears throat> Well, maybe he's from Georgia, well, Jeff. He's I not. Mean, how he's do you... told us. Yeah. Well. From China, lives in New York. Tenth all-time on the Georgia money the, list. And he must be on Hedden Bob. That's where they pulled well, we that should, information we'll probably, from. We'll probably change that one in the yeah. future. Yeah. But he has a real time? presence in Augusta. What kind of pre I love presents. Presents. P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E. -E. Oh, it's not the. No, he does. I mean, he has presents in the form of yogurt. I love pre I thought you'd bring me a little present today because it's been such a long time since you and I were working together. Just to celebrate. Been that long. A little gift. Why would Dude, that be cause for a, a gift? A little bit of a gift, Jeff. You know? Who doesn't love a nice gift? I can't argue that. But I don't know why I'd just randomly bring you one to kick off the USPO. Well, that's the kind of guy you are. I don't think it is. Every <coughs> time you come over, you bring my kids donuts. Your kids are different. Kids are different. I'm Why don't happily, I ever get a donut happily in the deliver booth. gifts, donuts to the kids, bottle of wine for Liz. I've and never absolutely received nothing for you. I never bring you anything. <laughs> That's all right. It's the thought that counts for. No, I, my thought, my active thought is to not bring you anything. Well, yeah, but it, it's it's the so gift that, that keeps count. on giving for my <laughs> right. wife and children and i'm sure mine's coming you could say right the gift to you is is my presence it's not like you forgot about my birthday when that happened oh i did forget you about that, that never yeah. happened yeah that, that, that i definitely forgot about you did say you ordered me something i was do you need my address to, to, for the shipping or, or when when did i say that did you, you want me to pick it up i can stop by your place and we can hang out I a little while no, after no, the no show. there's no need for that but when did i say that sure. uh it's on i'm sure we talked about it during a show i'll I'll back, review the Go tip. back in the archives yeah. for that one. And a great observation from Mayor Mardani. The commentator's talking about everything other than poker. That is, well, that's spot on there, uh, Mayor. Eight of clubs, five of spades, ten of diamonds, three of spades, four, four of hearts. hearts on the river. Yeah. Pair of five. Check, check. Went all the way down, check, check. Oh, yeah. Very nice. the ace five of clubs. Exciting. Hot well, there. So once in a while, Meyer, when we see a hand that isn't that interesting, we have a tendency to uh, talk about so some other things, you know, for the sake of, well, our own so sanity. The Run Good Poker Series All-Stars Pro-Am comes to Vegas this December, and you can win your way to the event. Just head to rungood.pokergo.com to sign up for free for a chance to win a seat. Rungood.pokergo.com for the giveaway. I'm off to a Run Good series in Florida. Brent. You're heading down there, huh? The right to the beach, Coconut Creek. Yeah. yeah. Florida, you want to come? Not at all, Jeff. I will Florida never guy. Down. Never go into Florida. All due yeah. respect, but yeah, Brent not, is not a Florida guy. Not going to go there. A little warm, a little Chinese sticky. Tequila. Tequila? I'm, I'm good. In fairness Chinese to Florida, tequila. you never Chinese really tequila. go Special. anywhere, except except you Chinese went to Colorado tequila. this time. I was in Colorado. I was in Denver. What did they call that? I was the feature on ESPN2 for a NIT basketball game. For the Bonnies? St. Bonaventure Bonnies, yeah. That was a blast. Watching the game was okay, but watching you watch the Bonnies, because you had great seats. Right behind the bench. I'm sure the coaching staff loved that. Well, they're picking me up as part of the staff. They're going to fly me to they're Oklahoma gonna, oh, on wow. Saturday for round two. Oh, part boy. of the team now. How'd it go with the Colorado fans? Not great, Jeff. I, uh, I, had to, students. I had to go out the back entrance <laughs> at the end of the game. I'm not kidding. There was a group of students after me. They wanted to, they wanted to rough me up. I'm not joking when I say that Brent called me after the game, hiding no, no behind a tree. I was behind a tree, yeah. On CU's campus. I was waiting. I had ordered an Uber, ducked behind a tree. As soon as I saw the Uber, I ran out there, got in so I could make my escape. He said, I think I'm okay, gonna go. Like, all, right, all right, good luck. Very devastated. Good job. Another big one here. 
And you have that. You have yeah, lulls, right? I mean, you're, you know, not every hand is going to be eventful and exciting and all that thoughtful. And that's okay. A little value bet here by Lin. He knows it's good. King high. King high. Yeah. Ooh. -ha. <laughs> Ooh. -ha. <laughs> nice flash show. See yeah. that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And a pair, and a pair. Lynn had four caches and a win on last year's PGT. Who is that buying in right now? Look at the highlights now. for this year. I thought it was Sean Perry, but that's not no. Sean Perry, right? About 150 events, all the 10K price point or higher. Yeah. Around the world. 10K at a minimum. And our top 21 qualify for the freeze out, that's right? That's right, yeah, top 21. We'll get that fixed. No bruh. No bruh. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and calls on the button with the ace five suit in. Sure is the queen seven suited in the big blind. A lot of shovels. Like Lynn, he's been splashing around with these suited ace wheel cards. I, perhaps here on the button, a nice opportunity to put in an aggressive three bet instead. He says, let's see three for cheap. King seven four with two diamonds. Sevens for sure. The one and only Amanda Negranu in oh. the chat here with us. What's going on, a Eggs? Watching her man, which is Daniel. Thank you. It's Thank not you me, for Jeff. It's not me. Jeff. Not, not <laughs> listening to me. Yeah. A lot of people thought that. We got to hang out with the Negranis the other day. First time in, in about two oh, it's years. It's been a long time. That was great. Oh. Met up at Javier's, had a couple cocktails and a meal. And then, of all people, you and I had to go home early right. that night. And they got to stay out and party. Good Usually it's the other way around, <laughs> right, where they're – but yeah, we, we couldn't even party. I'm just too old for this stuff, Jeff. I, That's I, you true. Know, I gotta go to sleep at nine, get up at six. You're very old. Yeah. Break is ten minutes, right? Ours. Check. Short checks again. It's going to be a tough sell, I think, for Lynn. Okay. Just going to wave it. Trying to make something happen. You know, he, the door seemingly was open on the button. He could have some king king jacks, king queens maybe that he'd opt to, to flat. Certainly, if you're going to bet flop, you have to bet turn to tell a story. But Lynn, no interest. Tony's going to shut it down. Diamonds do come home. Hey, yeah, yeah. That one's good. <laughs> Calls that one. I know you learned your lava, Marcy. But I think I bet maybe you caught it. So you don't believe me. I don't believe myself either. There is something to be said there, right? I. Tony saw Shannon the way that he put up a fight against Oya. Huge bluff catch with middle pair. Uh, you know, it's sort of like this intimidation factor. When you see a guy that makes such a great call, you're, you're, you feel less inclined to want to bluff yeah, him. True, true. Look at our payouts presented by StormX, Pokemon's exclusive cryptocurrency partner. Final four, guaranteed $93,000. Almost a 19K pay jump from fourth to third and up top. 
214 points in the race for that Golden Eagle Trophy. That the pot a moment ago, by the way, Jeff. Shannon Shore is our, our wow. new chip leader here today. Four remain. Amanda asked why the chat was on slow mode, because we have so many people watching. We want to slow it down a little bit. Colonel Panic in the chat. I would like to put the commentators on slow mode. That's kind of good. I don't know Very what it good. means, but I it's love pretty good. I trolls. like that. We love yeah. the creative trolls. You guys are the best. Respect it. King nine deuce, two clubs. Oh, yeah, flops a flush draw. We just got a huge donation from Cole oh, Jersey Nick. Nailed it. Yeah, you nailed it. It says, I smell a Negroni shove soon and gave us two Canadian dollars. Hello. That's got to be. Is We're, it worth more I than mean, the American dollar? Is with that, inflation, how much is that? the way it's going. What is that? Is that like 60 bucks here? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think it's 60 bucks. If it was 60 bucks, would we get the money? We I don't know. Never, we don't know where it goes. We don't know where it no goes. No idea what happens to but it. But thank you. Yeah, we'll take it. Well, we won't literally take it because we don't know where that money is. But I guess Poker Go will take it. I don't know. And if you are tuning in, uh, like Amanda Negreanu and everyone else here in the chat, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Click that thumbs up, of course. Maybe we can get to 2,000 today. That would be a record. And just make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to come back again tomorrow. Another free stream. Keep on clicking. Keep on subscribing, and oh yeah, keep on picking up Pocket Kings. Second time today. Yeah, started the final table by looking down at two kings. They pop up again here for him in the small blind. Race. Race. 430. 430. Nice pull. Can't shows the kings. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> nice Alabama almost fumble. Almost fumble. <laughs> <laughs> Alabama almost fumbled. <laughs> this is Tony. <laughs> Thank you, Chad, for subscribing. Good commentary. Thank you all for being here. 12 straight days of coverage. Every minute of the action on Poker Go. Today, the entire final table on YouTube. We can say the same for tomorrow. How much Maybe that some goes? more. So much. Seven, eight. Well, nine, it all depends 50, on 1. 1 the behind. sort of support we get 1. on our YouTube channel. Yeah, many. Still. Subscribers there. And A lot. Likes. Yeah, still many. We hit certain goals. We bring it back the next day. Beautiful. Otherwise. We pull the plug. Chat, chat. Negranu with the Anex purchased scarf. Uh, Bumps yeah, it up yeah. with the King Five of Diamonds. Who's Tom Ford? Oh, you're not friendly. Tom Ford. I have friendly that's, many that's, times. That's style. Lady Gaga. Right there. there. Lady Tom Gaga. Ford? Lord, yeah. Gaga. It's like the most American Gaga. name of King all Gaga. time. King Gaga. King Gaga. It's, King Gaga. it's uh, <laughs> Tom Ford, right? It's like Dave Chevy. Yeah, it's a, Fashion designer. It's just elite. Sorry. No, you're fine. Thank you. Ralph Buick. Hey, take a look at the wall behind our players. Tequila Comisario, uh, a part yes. of the action on the PGT. We are very happy to have them on board. And we might have might have sampled a little bit of the product. Is that safe a to little. say? We each got our own bottle of the Plus, it wasn't uh, quite a sample. Yeah. I end up going to uh, their suite, the Tequila Comisario oh, suite for the Gonzaga St. Mary's mm -hmm. Championship game. Well, Jeff, you were there. Yeah. I was there he's too. Right? Yeah, I like I that. You're like, I went to the game. You were there, Jeff. I went with you. Well, I thought you were going to dive in. You just gave me a little smirk. Oh. <laughs> I had but plenty anyway, of tequila yeah. that evening. A lot of tequila that oh. night, huh? That's the good stuff. Hot dogs with your tequila. You were starting I didn't have tequila it. I didn't have any hot dogs. I saw you have it. You didn't have a hot dog, no. No? You had all the hot dogs. Is that right? You, how many hot dogs did you have that night? Just two. Oh, I don't know. 
With some chicken fingers. Take over to yeah. <laughs> Eight four four two hearts. Sure. Got her for Negranu. Shore with eights and fours. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. Tom Ford sounds like a president, right? Sixty. President Ford. Gerald. But, yeah. Maybe related. I don't know. I don't Meanwhile, think. we could have a little bit of, uh, as Negreanu would say, some loosey-goosey stuff going on here. He's got the gut shot. Seven of hearts. blind on blind confrontation. Any pair for him is uh, likely trouble. King of hearts on the turn. Flush draw now for Negreanu. Yeah, a little smidgen of added equity. Sure, sort of way ahead, way behind. If we do bet here, what are we trying to, to accomplish, right? A, a four, we're dead. We've got a pretty good eight as is. Negreanu can have these sorts okay. of gut shot straights that may have turned some equity, just like the six, seven of hearts. Looking for a clean river by checking back here, maybe open up the door where we can pick off a Negreanu bluff on clean rivers, just like this. Negreanu just seven high. He's gonna reach and he is gonna bet. 125. That's 125,000. I have to believe part of Alabama Shore's master plan is to do exactly this. Just yeah. pick them off. Keep uh, it small. Well. Check no, back I on the turn go. and call on a blank river. <laughs> Come on into our Discord channel, discord.gg slash poker go. Daniel Negrani has popped up there a couple times. Hanks is in the mix. I'm there. Helmuth is there too. Negreanu tweets the U.S. Poker Open right around the corner. Can watch all the final tables on Poker Go. Want that Golden Eagle trophy. Bald Eagle trophy. Golden Eagle trophy. Yeah. Maybe he's thinking of Steve Zolotow. And he's selling off on Pocket Fives every day. Oh, the staking is great. Seidel's got action at Pocket Fives. Uh, yeah. Negreanu's got action I there. Yeah, I believe Ali Amshurovich <laughs> has action there. <laughs> you can have a piece of the best tie rulers in the world. Head on over to PocketFives.com. Check out their staking platform. What's the secret? Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> cool. Hi, my friend. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Nine at two clubs. Lynn with a better ace high. How about another jack, Jeff? That would make for three. Put a four, put a fourth one up there. Come on, dealer, one time. Could have said something very vulgar there. I'll hold back. That's Lynn Calls. Oh, oh, it was paint. So close, Had the paint too. Sweat. The heart as well. Wanted that jack of hearts. That would have been a big Yahtzee for everybody. The uh, bonus money being paid out. <laughs> it's mm, a good card for Oyas. Oh, yeah. It will Eight now go chop good. chop. Yeah. Oh, you got lucky liver. Huh? <laughs> chop chop. No bluffing, never bluff. Minimal, minimal is Thank you, sir. Take a look at the format. 93 entries in this one. $10,000 buy-in. Do play with a shot clock at the U.S. <coughs> Poker Open. Six time banks a day delivered to our players. So they could theoretically start with as many as 12. Once we hit our final six. 30K, 60K, 60K big blind anti on shore neck and neck for the chip lead. What? A, let me ask you this, Jeff, yep. while I have your attention. You always By the way, do. Trey McNary, thank you so much. Hello from yes. Victoria, Texas. Another donation. Two dollars. We'll, we'll take it. Two bucks at a time. We we almost got one gallon of gas now. It's true. So We're here's so where I'm going. Away. Yeah. 
the time, the, the shot clocks and the time banks you get, what if we just reduced every decision to 10 seconds? To 10? You've got 10 seconds to make up your mind. Every street, every hand, you got 10 seconds, otherwise you got to use it. Is that too fast? Yes. I see it that as oh, like a, a, a one-off, a specialized okay. tournament every series, yeah. one super turbo or something. Cap. But 10 Cap. seconds, Cap. It, as complex as the game is nowadays. But that's right. I mean, because it's so complex, I want to see people making more mistakes. Everyone is so perfect. That's true. Let me see some errors, Jeff. Let me see some panic. While you play for hundreds of thousands of dollars. There would be some panic. And Eric uh, Tolliver, a four ninety nine donation. This is too much. I mean that's uh, this is this is bananas what's happening here. That got some serious money coming in. Now if we get a Bitcoin, Jeff, I mean come on, that, that's then we're gonna find out where the money goes. Yeah. It's going to be kings and eights with an ace for Ren Lin. See, like right now, I don't know, it's 30 seconds gone by. Great little value bet here by Lin, no doubt. And I think Shore just has to call. Uh, sometimes you have to pay in the money. Come yeah. on. Says, thank you, thank you Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> thank oh, you. you got trouble now, Alabama. Ah, oh, it can't be your first time. Maybe <laughs> all the time. Okay. <clears throat> but the 10 thank seconds, you, I'm gonna go, I think I'm going to submit that. <laughs> I don't like that Let's cut it to 10 seconds for a couple of these 10Ks. It moves plenty fast, I think. But what a great dynamic. Great dynamic for a specialized tournament. Have a couple of those a year, sure. Well, you're nervous just thinking about it. Ten seconds, and that, the dealers, that's a lot of work for them. How is it any different? It's, it's a seconds. lot more clicking on the clock. Well, players are going to move faster, that's though. It's, it could be less clicking. We have no idea. In the YouTube chat, just tell the truth, says Negreanu lost his mojo, and Amanda Negreanu says, he just won an event a couple weeks ago, so not sure you know much about mojo. <laughs> He's got two wins already in, in 2022. He's one of the hottest players in the world as far as results and victories are concerned. This is his sixth okay, now again from PGT oh. cash of 2022 Please as well. Screen three, Lin flops a pair of threes. Cool chest. Thank you. Professional check. Grandu now with the two way straight draw. And Lin now with two pair. <laughs> Professional check. Professional check. Here. Three's full for Lin. How much you want? 175. Why? Lin goes almost well, I got a best hand. Maybe. Well, this is. Maybe not. Maybe lie. I see in the video. 175. He might call this, right? Uh, he, he looks he interested. He would video not later. bet with King High. Later. Maybe I see it now. So it's. It. <laughs> no, he's fancy. Expensive? <laughs> wow. I mean, he, he's oh, seriously man. considering calling rich. here. Very rich. Very rich, mean, you easy call. The call the and he does make the call with Jack coach. High. Coach. Oh, wow. Good hand. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. alive. Full house? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good hand. I have a Jack High. <laughs> you call me Jack High? Yeah, why not? Jack High can win. I know you want to let me win the tournament, right? <laughs> <laughs> <There you go. laughs> let him win the tournament. <laughs> Oh boy. Negreanu down to 12 bigs. PGT, Brent Hanks, the PGT. You gotta love it as I flip to the promo script. There it is. The 2022 Poker Go Tour is underway. This season's champ will take home $500,000 when it's all said and done. Watch the PGT right here on Poker Go.
It features the games of most elite players. For the latest news, schedule, oh. leaderboard, check out PGT. Let me let me spell this out one. for you a little yeah. bit. All right, so we're you know there's the five hundred thousand hey, dollar free roll. Top twenty one players, the PGT Championship that you just told us you about. Pulled yeah. out of turn. Every other major series that we do, U.S. Poker Open, the Poker Go Cup, which just completed, we've got the Masters. Yep. All of our majors. There's also a $50,000 sweetener on top for the player of the series. In total, Poker Go is giving out $650,000 worth of prize money Ooh. to the players, to the PGT Tour members. You show me. That is you strong. show me where anyone else in the world, any tour, is giving out and doing that, that much for the players. Strong. You can't. You won't find it anywhere. Tony Sinistaj currently leads the PGT leaderboard after his win at Win Millions. Shore with the open ender. Oh, yeah, with top two. And now it's a full house for Masashi Oya. Oh. Check. Little check back. Yeah, let him get there. Maybe There's a little Canada. Six of diamonds. Six of diamonds yeah, me. but Shannon has no pair. Yeah. Uh, ten high, no diamond. He may consider bluffing at this river card because of the check back from Oya. Very deceptive. Very tricky. And it was his only opportunity to get a little bit more value. And here it comes. Shannon Shore thinks the door is open. And it is about to be absolutely slammed <laughs> back in his face in a moment. Here is the race. Yeah, Shannon knows right now he stepped in it. 700. Oh, yeah, we'll show again. Wow. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, draw for hands here. This is Poker Boss. Two hands. Sean McCormick. All right, guys, we're going to play two hands and we'll be on break. Okay? Poker Boss drawing. Thank you. So, Adios. How's it going? Good to see you. So, we'll play two more hands at this level. Hey, I love this change. Drawing for hands. There will be no stalling. Great rule change here for the PGT. I saw too many players manipulating the clock to try to get the button at a certain time, to try to put the big blind on somebody at a certain time, and this gets rid of that issue as our level does go up. fifty. You know all-you-can-eat buffet? Yeah, and all you can eat. Here. You know all you can eat. Eight okay. ninety nine. All right, all you can eat. Okay. Who shoves with the king queen? Five, six, seven, fifteen. All you can eat. Seven fifteen. Twelve. Nine dollars. Seven fifteen. All you can eat. Buffet. <laughs> Only seven fifteen. Ah yeah yeah. Seven fifteen is twelve big of land. Many. King queen. Okay. Oh. You hope I have king queen. I think you got King Queen. Why? Wow. And makes the call. Wow. Calls his Maybe hand cheating. and makes the call. No, you call? Yeah, you call. You have ace high, right? Yeah. Okay, I have King Queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? A6? Up, suit, you call? You hope I have King Queen. You crazy. I know you're good. That's not good, student. <laughs> Calls Fold with the ace. Anyway, off? you lose now because Lady Gaga coming. <laughs> right? Ace coming too. <laughs> Lady Gaga. I mean, I guess if you know he has King Queen, you put it in the middle. Okay, Lady Gaga is enough. <laughs> Lady Gaga and Ace. ace no Ace, ace. just Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Negreanu needs a little help. Oh, no Gaga. Does not find Spade? it on the yeah. flop. Does have the backdoor flush draw, the better backdoor flush draw. So ace. Went. Ace, no good. Spade, Ace, OK. <laughs> Still alive. Right now looking for a king or a queen. No Six Gaga. Turn. Gaga. King Gaga. Six Any outs Gaga. for Negreanu to stay alive. River card. Deuce of spades. No Gaga. Okay. Good that luck, That does man. it for Daniel Negreanu. Okay, good luck. Good luck, my friend. Yeah. Go get him. Okay. All right. Out and forth, <laughs> 93,000. I'll grab myself in a minute. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> 
good attitude about it. 93 points. Gambling, gambling, yeah. gambling. And, gambling. Brent, considering <laughs> that Negreanu will be here throughout the next 12 events, you got to have him as the favorite to win the he Golden is. Eagle Trophy just based off what he's done in event number he one. He is right now. I mean, you, I'm, I'm looking at the leaderboard, the top six that came in. Negreanu, I think, is the only player here today that will play every single yeah. event. He'll play Big Bet Mixed. He'll play the eight-game event. He's going to hop in PLO. And, and believe it or not, I, obviously, he's amazing at No Limit Hold'em. But in the Big Bet Mixed and the eight-game, he still might be one of the, the top five favorites in those events as well. He's tremendous all around. Nick Shulman finished in eighth. Sean Perry finished in tenth. Those two might also play the rest of the way. Shulman's another one. If he plays every event, watch out. Quietly just gets it done and is considered to be one of the best mixed game players uh, uh, in the world. And we know he's elite like with no down limit hold'em. I don't think he's playing PLO. Me, man, Keep an eye out for Shulman. Let me go. Four million. It's four million. Last hand at this level before players go off on break. Three fifty. Two thirty. <laughs> you got yeah, a trouble, my man. Almost four X out of the small one. Sure. Sorry. King at 9-5. Pair of kings for Lynn. 520K in this pot. Goes check, check. Another five on the turn. Oh yeah, leading for 250k. Oh, no bluff, turn. my friend. <laughs> That's final table. Lin says no bluffs allowed. Makes the call with the king. 200. Winner of this pot is our chip leader going into break. Another nine on the river. Now you Chuck. A little, little concerned. Would he ever, is he worried about his opponent maybe having a nine or a five? Could a five be fearful in this spot? Worried that he's up against another nine. They might just shut it down and be happy to collect this pot with a pair of kings. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's high. It's high, no good. Ah, no bluff, no bluff. <laughs> No bad. It's high. So good. There it is for Lynn. And Oya does retain the oh so slight chip lead to send our break? players off. Yeah. For how long? First break of the day. A look at the chip stack of our chip leader, Masashi Oya. 10 minute break. Almost 4.3 million in chips. Ren Lin has almost 4.2 million in chips as we take a look at the leaderboard presented by Global Poker. Free poker at its best. About a five minute break for our final three. We're back with more final table coverage. He's not playing a lot of poker these days. I guess he's won enough money. He's going to try and make it elsewhere in, in the land of crypto. You got to try to defend that trophy again. I so, mean, to go know, back yeah. to back to back. It's a heavy trophy, though. I don't know if there's a, a wall to support it. Speaking of heavy, how about two queens <laughs> now for Oya? Let's start for our chip leader. Sashi Oya out of Japan. See, draw on these, these TV tables is so big, like just with boom. Oh, yeah. I'm blocking. This is the best seat here. I mean, oh, like, yeah, you're living I'm, the dream. You're just, you know, <laughs> you're here. you got to look like this to see the guy. Yeah, that's true. Oh. I, I saw the team one. Like, yes. I think you have to, right? You have to <laughs> honor Doyle Brunson, 10 do suited. You're not allowed to fold that hand. 
And it comes Jack 8-6 with two diamonds. Seidel does flop the flush draw. Oh, yes, queens are best. Yeah, watch the legend go. I don't expect him to go bananas here with just a 10 high flush draw. Sort of hand you just want to check call with. He's going to get a great price, 75000 Shannon, I told, I told Jesse to come. Yeah. He's like, it's first day of March Madness. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Said he's going to watch basketball on the strip. I already missed the first two calls. games in my bracket. Brutal. <laughs> Turn is the five of clubs. It's, oh, you, it's some early run bad in March racket, Madness for Shannon up, Shore. Yeah, yeah well, done. Just, just madness here just at the final table. Up, hopefully. Already. I'm sure Shannon's not too upset that he gets to play for hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's some run good for Oya as he fires here on the turn yeah. to the tune of 225,000. He sizes this thing up. Not great for Seidel. I think he recognizes hand strength here from Oya. Unlikely that he would barrel twice with total air. But a flush draw is just too good, Jeff. You have to, you have to put in the money, try and connect. Does connect on the river with a nine of diamonds. And a beautiful ticket as well. You can see it's a one-liner to a straight. Also completing that flush. And for Oya, this is a disaster. I don't know what bluffs we would essentially beat right now. Perhaps something like six X of clubs that would be so, yeah. turning Seidel's hand into a bluff. For sure. Oh, yeah, it's the queen of diamonds, of course, making it a little less likely Seidel would have a flush. But we can see it's the 10 deuce of diamonds for Seidel in his hand. Just put to the test already by the legend, Eric Seidel. Let's see if Oya can get away from this. Time bank used, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. Seidel check calls, flop check calls, turn leads here on the river. Ten seconds. I love it. He's got the muck face. Yeah, there it excellent, is. Excellent yeah, lay on. down. Wow. Shows him. Oh, you pulled a Lady Gaga. <laughs> what do you have? Oh, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Two Lady Gagas? Lady Gaga. Yes. <laughs> wow. wow. You called me with two Lady Gagas. <laughs> 20 words, enough. He can literally have conversations. 20 words, that's it. You know, he got different intonation on the No Gamble, No Future. Touchdown Tom Brady, you know what that means. It's, um, <laughs> never been anyone that. <laughs> you get close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the joy of playing with Ren Lynn. Here it comes, touchdown Tom Brady. 80. One thing. Yeah, you've Please. got it. The top is the pairs. You've also got that three to the royal mm. draw. That Oya really could have moved it all in with those stack sizes. There, with those yeah. stacks, exactly. Sort of let Lynn off the hook. I don't know if Tony was going to call with Ace Jack offsuit pre flop. We'll never oh, know. Oh. oh. Huh? Eight. Eight? Eight, eight. eight, eight. Shows that ace of diamonds. Eight, eight? Yes. Extremely unbiased. That's what everybody calls the right. two of us. Just a very professional broadcast crew. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's no way I would ever root for the guy that's wearing our podcast, No Gamble, No Future, hat and hoodie. Right, right. No you, way would I ever yeah, be you're you're such rooting a for him. Right. Exactly. Oh, sure. And that man has made it 400000 out of the small blind, the non all in three bet. With the ace nine off. Very effective, I believe. This applies a ton of pressure, but look at Oya. He is not here to fold. He says, give me that hoodie, pal. No gamble, no future. I want to peel. So I'm going to play this one in position against you. Perhaps put some pressure on you later. Seven, six, deuce, one diamond. A couple backdoor draws for Oya. Lin's ace high is best. We've seen this kind of fearless nature from Lynn throughout these last couple months no as we've gotten to know him. Let's go. <laughs>
Welcome back to the 2022 U.S. Poker Open, coming to you from the beautiful Aria Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Brent Hanks and Jeff Platt inside the gorgeous Poker Go Studio. Three players left contending for the first title of this series for $213,900 for 214 points in the race for the Golden Eagle Trophy. A look at our leaderboard presented by Global Poker. Free poker at its best. And Brent, we are neck and neck for that chip lead. Oh yeah, trying to go wire to wire. Came in with the chip lead at the start of the final table. Has a slight lead as we speak. However, all three of these players at one point today have been the chip leader. Uh, Shannon Shore, our short stack. I got all eyes on him. The experienced veteran pro all-round great player. He, Jeff, he's got to be the favorite right now. Yeah, and he is 40 big. Right. And so he's plenty deep, despite being third out of our three left, to, to make a real run at this. Less than 150 okay. bigs on the table. Yeah, it opens here. Shore with the ace five of spades in the big blind. Final three guarantee $111,600. Oh. About a 37K pay jump from third to second. King Jack Jack. Two clubs. Check. Spades on the turn. I expect to see Shannon Shore not only, of course, employ his his, his studying and, and his GTO, everything he's been working on over the last two, three years on and away from the table, but against Lynn and against Oya, I think we're going to see some sort of old school Shannon Shore, that exploitative hmm. types of play. He, he has that opportunity very rarely in these high rollers. Are you going to be up against competition that is not – greatly studied. Now, I'm not saying that Oya or Lynn, uh, perhaps they're in the lab, perhaps they're running solvers yeah. and sims all the time, just like Shannon is, but from what I understand, that's not the case. They're more of the, uh, not recreational side, but they play a lot of poker, but they're not the studied yeah. type. Shore told us before play, he is very <laughs> dedicated to tournament poker at the moment. And Brent is considering making that, that kind of next step in the future. We see him at this 10K, 15K price point quite often. Was that you? I think he just belched right there for <laughs> us as well, yeah. But he's thinking about moving up to 25Ks to 50Ks moving forward. Does love playing in this Poker Go studio. He has four event one caches at our Poker Go, at our PGT events in the last year. Yeah, that's remarkable. I mean, he's been around. You look at the resume. I remember him when I was younger, even before I started playing for a living. Shannon Shore dominating online, making runs in WPT oh. events. It was just a matter of time. I mean, the, you thought he was going to be the best player in the world at one point, and then, you know, he sort of hit a stretch where maybe the results didn't come, the variance sort of took over, and that's just part of the game, the nature of the game. But here he is still, years later, thriving at the highest levels. Yeah. AD. Eight. 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 This is his fourth career live tournament catch in all four, Brent, top three finishes. It's amazing. That's, That's why crazy. we call him the podium. That is his uh, nickname going forward. I think this is our first event with him in our studio, at least that I can recall. I, I think so. He does streams. two PGT caches, but those came that. at the Venetian. Yeah. yeah. Where he also won an $1,100 MSPT event in December. So he is... Coming on strong, much like Ren Lin has over this last year. Well, he's clearly played a ton of poker. We saw the bluff attempt earlier against Shore. And Lin, we, he, he's been a frequent flyer on the PGT. We've had him on the stream quite a few times. Easy, Alabama. I beat you last time, but you got trouble now, you know. 
poker becoming very popular in Japan. We've gotten to know Masato Yokosawa a little bit, the Global Poker Award winner for Poker Personality of the Year. You ever been to Japan, Jeff? I have not. No, have you? No, no, don't. Even, I know you haven't. Sorry. Believe it or not, Jeff. No, I've, I've no never chance. been there. <laughs> King Wow, collision for sure. The flush draw for Lin. One ten. One fifty. One ten. One ten. The check raised to 375k. We will build quite the pot here, most likely. Shannon is just soaking it in. What, yeah. what sort of hands are check raising? A lot of draws are present. Clearly, we're not considering folding. It's just a matter of, okay, let's be aware. Are we up against 5-4, spades? Very cautious of turn cards, river cards, and how do we march forward with this sort of hand? Five of clubs on the turn. The flush doesn't come in, but it is the open ender. Now for Lin. And a massive draw. You can see he's 34% to win this pot outright. Almost 1.2 million in this pot. 10 seconds. And Lynn is going to fire 750,000. Bit of a concern card, obviously. Shannon aware that combo draws that couldn't that could have contained a flush and a straight draw were home. Seven four of spades was available. Call. Call. Makes the call. Yeah, not folding top pair. He's just going to come along for the ride. Is it owing or is it called? It's going to be oh. a big river card. Here we go. The chip lead on the line in this pot. More than 2.6 million out there. Shore is 1.9 million behind. The queen of diamonds on the river. This Lynn fire here with just eight high. I do believe the answer is yes. Yeah, Tony knows he's up against a king. He is going to try and tell the story. What are we repping? You're essentially repping two pair, a straight, possibly kings up. And wait and a minute, is he just? He open folds. That'll take some pressure off Shannon. He just throws it in the muck. Yeah. Had the four in his hand, thought he might have made that last I don't think I've effort. ever seen that before. Ah. He just threw it in the muck. He ah, said, I'm ah, done. Ah. You got it. You got a king. Desi says, I'm going to check anyway. Right. And fold Speeds if you bet, or you check back, and you're going to have the winner. Wow. Just happened. But let's take a look at the 2022 PGT leaderboard. Sinistar is on top after his win at Win Millions. Isaac Kempton finished second in that tournament. Then you have some of the familiar faces around this studio. Barry Petrangelo, I'm sure of it. Yeah, and those giant 10Ks, the Win Millions, those points are up for grabs yeah. in the for the PGT Tour. So obviously those guys are going to shoot to the top of those leaderboards. The WSB main event will be the biggest 10K of the year with points awarded up top. We saw it last year with Andrew Moreno. He won the Win Millions, and he was in the top five of the PGT leaderboard for quite some time. He did not play a number of the qualifying events towards the tail end. I think he finished outside the top ten when it was all said and done. I'm curious to see if Tony and Isaac Kempton will continue to participate. Congrats to them on those scores. That is a massive tournament. You could hear Lynn second guessing his decision to check because, or to, to just open fold because then he doesn't see what Shore has. If he right. would have gone check, check, you at least see the cards. To a straight draw for Lynn. Shore with the eights. Shore now our chip leader. Check, check on the turn. 
Chapman misses another draw. We'll get some value from the eights there. Ooh. Thin. Well diagnosed yeah. by Shannon Shore. He's having his way with it right now. The most experienced oh, player, Obama, huh? most studied player. That's nice him. Thank you. <clears throat> Continues to accumulate. Storm X is PokerGo's exclusive cryptocurrency partner. Happy to have him on board. Along with Brent, their newest ambassador, Spencer Dinwiddie, who hit two game winners in a row for the Mavs. How about that? Wow, Dinwiddie, also a big crypto guy, as you're pointing yeah. out. Is he a Storm X guy too? Yeah, now he's Storm X. Oh, I didn't he's realize the, he was Storm X. He and wow. CJ McCollum. Please. Yeah, Andrew. It's a sizable raise. Oh, 200, 200, 200. Thought he put three of those yellow bumblebee chips out there. And he does does make the call with the jack four off. You don't see it often with the jack four off. He's feeling it. He does flop a jack. Sometimes you gotta just go with the field, Jeff. You know you got you got the hand that fixes tires. I mean let let's see three. Find ourselves a winner, Jeff. Check once again on the turn. River brings another three. Finally, he hit the pair, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Lynn calls again with ace high, pays off again with ace high. Ren Lynn down to less than 30 bigs. Oya, Lynn, and Shores, third cash of the 2022 PGT. My goodness. <laughs> Shore opens here with Jack Nine. Once in with the 7 6 off out of the small blind. Lynn wants in with King 7 off out of the big blind. Three handed to this flop. Comes Queen 8 Deuce Rainbow. Gutter for Shannon. Shore just teeing it up now. Yeah. You get action like that, that sort of texture, flop the gutter ball, able to apply pressure, and picks up some bonus bucks, I think, really having Oya come along from the small blind with that sort of holder. Certainly some momentum for Shannon Shore. Said goodbye to Joseph Chong. Out in sixth, Eric Seidel eliminated in fifth, Daniel Negreanu out in fourth. 
leaves us with our final three. Sure. Oh yeah, Lynn. Battling for the first title, the 2021. What, what year is it? This year, Jeff? Yeah. That'd be 2022, Got it. Jeff. Battling yeah. for the first title of the year 2022. Year of the Mallards. U.S. Poker Open. Funny. Ducks on the pond. Yeah. yeah. Gary in the chat is saying to get that man a ginger ale. I think talking about Alabama Shore with the gas. Does ginger ale take care of the burps? I thought it made you even more, you know, burpy. Like if you put some carbonated yeah, it's like it drinks makes you in feel you, doesn't a little it? Better, but it also. But aren't makes you going to continue to belch? Like it's like, how's it any different than having a beer? Yeah, I think ginger ale is just more if you're just feeling the. the effects the flu it's yeah. good for the tummy ginger is yeah, yeah, good for yeah, the tummy exactly, maybe just exactly. eat a little ginger when's the last time you had a ginger ale well i have a ginger with like uh an adult beverage i'll mix it with an <laughs> okay, yeah, starts with a w and ends with an e e y yeah. ending yeah sound oh, figured, e. uh -huh, yeah. yeah so w you got the drink right oh, so i yeah. mix that with the old ginger got it yeah well that wasn't quite the question but yes i understand well, that's the last time I had a ginger ale. Yeah, true. Still counts, right? Still I mean, counts. But just a plain ginger ale? I don't, right. I don't know. Maybe when I was a kid when I had, out a, of the can? I don't I had know. the flu or something. Sure. And I like Verner's ginger ale. You ever had Verner's? Verner's? I think it's got a little extra ginger in it. Verner's, no. Sure. Never heard of it, huh? No. A lot of ginger, <laughs> like Conan O'Brien. <laughs> you ought to try it. Maybe on your way home, pick up a little Verner's. No free ads, by the way. No free ads. No. Right. Renlin takes down that pot. You know, what? you mentioned Denver earlier, yeah. and I took that trip. And I'll get back to this in just a moment. It's we take a look at how about our Discord channel? How Come about join the, the fun. Discord? Huh? You give away the game yeah. by joining the PokerGo Discord community. Hang out with hundreds of fellow poker fans, talk strategy, join watch parties, and more. You take over. It's all available in the PokerGo Discord. Check out discord.gg slash pokergo to join. Nailed it. Yeah. So there it is, Discord. That's a big thing now. Discord is a thing. You, Kids you're love in the it. Discord chat. I'm in there. I'm in the Discord. Do you call it Discord chat? Or Panic Discord at the channel Discord for me. The Discord. No. I call it the Discord. I don't really know what else to call it. The a lot big, of channels. The Big D. That's what I call it sometimes. Okay. Late at night. Well, that's, anyway, that's so tomorrow. let's go back to the other Big D, Denver, the trip. I was very disappointed that you did not join me for that trip. You could have sat behind the bench for the ball game. You and I, side by side, little college hoops. Huh? Yeah, I, I love life. the idea of a college hoops trip with you. It's just I don't want it to come in the form of a trip to an NIT game. I'll do respect when we have the U.S. Poker Open basically the next day. Well, we had no problem. I came right back. It's a, it's an hour and 20-minute flight, Jeff. You're oh, there. Right. You're what back. The, the weather gets Beautiful fatter. hotel. A lot the of weather's snow. gorgeous. You can't make it back. 75 degrees and sunny, and I looked up all these things that could <laughs> go wrong. Nothing went wrong. Nothing went wrong. We won you the game. You called me from behind a tree, hiding out from a bunch of students who wanted to fight you. Well, yeah, but uh, if you would have been there, I think, you know, we probably could have taken them. I couldn't do it I, alone. I think I would have liked to stay out of the mix. I would have cheered you on, though. It's been a long time since I've been in a, a college brawl. <laughs> you were close to one. As Lynn, timing unfortunate on this river lead. Sure, happy to flick in the call after rivering the jack. Jet. I and know this, that. you know, could kind of speak to why sometimes you do let the the trash go in the big blind. Yeah, Gets you don't need to. More you don't need to play them all. Oh, why am I always lucky? Oh, yeah. Sure is rolling right yeah. now. Roll Good. tide. He's feeling it. I think. Thank you, Jimmy Bluffett. Hanks, Von Miller, that's right, big sign yeah. for the Bills, huh? Beautiful. Maybe this signing will actually hold up as opposed to the last one. McKissick, that's yeah, all right. Little running back. They're a dime a dozen. You know that. <laughs> Global poker, free poker at its best. Happy to have them as part of the USPO. And oh, yeah, another big hand. 
It's queens again. He's seen kings a couple times, now queens a couple oh, times. Yeah, premium pairs all day long for Oya. Ten six off, though. Shannon's sort of feeling it, too. Once in a while, if he makes this call, you know, it's just, he's got the juice rolling. Maybe considering three betting, you'd be stepping right into it. Look at it. He's just dialed in. And oh yeah, we'll he's show dialed again. in. Wow. Lady Gaga. Hey, Lady Gaga, <laughs> finally. <laughs> oh yeah, has been happy to show the goods. Just Every fall. time. Yeah. <laughs> Rolls it over. <clears throat> and I love that when you're able to get some bluffs through as well, but so far has not yeah. gotten a single bluff through. He went through he he went after Shannon Shore one time. Blind on blind, did not work. Show them the goods, show them the goods, run a bluff. Don't show them. Show them the goods, run a bluff. <laughs> it hasn't worked out quite like that. He's only one with the better hands. What is the event you're most looking forward to at the U.S. Poker Open? Well, you know the answer for me is always the 50K yeah, main event. True. It's going to come down to the wire for the Golden Eagle. We'll have a number of folks in contention. And that's where the biggest prize pools are. I mean, every, everything for the USPO, it's all about the main. Expect a very tight race. We will welcome in some of our friends from the Mixed Games community. We don't see that often right. throughout the series as we do have... Not only this 10K PLO, but we have a 10K Big Bet mix, a 15K 8 game, a 15K PLO, a 25K PLO. Curious to see how the Big Bet and the 8 game turnouts are. It's a totally different crowd when that 8 game goes off. I mean, yeah, yeah. Daniel's going to play. Sure. Helmuth will probably Shulman. play that. Shulman. But we get all sorts of folks. Chris Vich comes out from L.A. We saw Max uh, Coleman. He's here. He specifically plays PLO, a lot of mix. This <laughs> this Jared Blesnick, who loves oh, sports cards, Blesnick. he will come out and play some mix. You know, our sports cards interview was at last year's U.S. Poker mm -hmm. Open. Blesnick yeah. won a title. Right. No bluff, no bluff. No bluff. Me too. And Jasenga <laughs> in the chat says they lied. Negranu is not here. Well, he busted. Danny Negreanu got fourth place. He's out the door. You can see him in the background behind Shannon Shore when we go to his ISO, if you're just trying to look at him. Okay. Okay. Blesnick beat Max Coleman heads up in last year's 10K PLO. You know, Blesnick was ripping cards the other night on Instagram with, with Drake. Excuse me? Drake was in the chat talking to Blesnick, and they were ripping a Boxer, boxer. How? Cases How did cards. Drake show up there? Drake has gotten really into sports cards. We know Blesnick is big into sports cards, owns a store here in Las Vegas and an online company as well. Breaks so a lot of cards. Drake opens is, a lot of cards. was involved with this? Yeah, so he was, Blesnick was breaking cards with Kent Golden. And somehow Drake got in the mix. And then it, you just would see Drake in the, in the chat. Were people Drake, loving it? Drake called or it did his you Drake watch mitzvah. It? Yeah, I was yeah. hooked because they were opening really expensive cards, and Drake was there, and it was it was incredible. You gotta be kidding me! I asked Jared if he was coming by USPO. He said he was planning on coming by today. In the chat? Uh, That's I what asked, you asked him, him in the Instagram chat the next day without Drake. Drake wasn't there. I didn't want to chat when Drake was chatting. Did you talk to nervous. Drake at all? No, I, didn't, didn't. No, I, didn't, I didn't talk to Drake. Very nervous. What am what? I going to say? What's up, Drake? You, sometimes like you got to shoot your shot. Well, I, I, did, I had nothing. He said, I know I'm like, hey, so you like sports cards? So do I. It's a $30,000 box. Yeah. I sometimes buy a $300 box. Well, that would have been here. great. A little warm-up, a little, yeah, warm -up, nice. a little appetizer. Yeah. And you could have invited Drake to dinner. Yep. Take it, you know, met he's, him out at night. You know, he's a gambler. We could probably bring him to the studio. Yeah. Here's the PLO event that we're talking about. Maybe Blesnick has shown up, but ah, how about Phil Helmuth? Yes, I. Ah, the good news. There were 13 players left when this hand came up one hour ago in event number one at the USPO. 14 were paid, and that hand he's referring to, getting the chips in with Ace King against Eric Seidel's Aces. 
to You mean he didn't beat Bird Aces King. with Ace King? He did not. No. That'll do it, by the way. No sign of Helmuth yet in event number two. I don't know. I mean, if he plays PLO, I'd be shocked. Yeah. Don't expect to see him. But, but, but. You remember the World Series. I do. You we got that heads, 50K yeah. PLO. Osmus, Daniel Negreanu, a little threesome, nice. and Jeremy nice. Osmus came out on top. But I also remember Helmuth and Adam Friedman when Friedman won his back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back player's choice. He kept picking Pot Limit Omaha yeah. because he says that that is Phil Helmuth's worst game by a mile. And I, it worked out. Friedman ended up winning and sort of dismantled him. And Mattisau and Helmuth afterwards said Friedman was a terrible PLO player. Yeah, something tells me that maybe <laughs> Friedman's got the edge there. I, yeah. Caught me crazy, but Friedman, the back to back to back. Insane. Dealer's choice Insane champ of the series. That's absurd. 190. Yeah. Maybe it's Wolf. Wolf. will be you. Okay. 190. Is it? I mean, I'm going to stick here with Friedman uh, yeah, for a moment, but do you think that that is arguably the most <laughs> 200 better, 200 better. Uh, impressive feats in the history of, uh, of the game? Really could be. What do you what do you put up against it? Harrington back-to-back -back final tables in the main. Yeah, I mean, uh, Newhouse did that Newhouse, as well, right? Yeah, but I mean, it, ninth and ninth. But back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. In a 10K championship. Didn't Ms. Rocky do that in the Players' Champ? Didn't he go back-to-back -back in the 50K? He's won multiple PPC or no? Trouble. PPCs, but I don't think he's gone back to back. I don't know. Let's ask the chat. Chat. Yeah. Talk to Greatest accomplishment. Hey, can I have a coffee in black? Poker Thanks. tournament history. As Lynn turns another nine. Oh, yeah, has the gutter. Lynn smirks. At least I think he did behind the mask. Bufo. Fires. Wins. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I'm going to wait I mean, for chat you to tell could, me the, the greatest accomplishment also, of all time. Right? You it's, could also say it's just Phil Helmuth winning 16 bracelets. If we take a look at our eliminations today, Joseph Chong out in sixth. Then it was Poker Hall of Famer Eric Seidel eliminated in fifth for $74,000, followed up by Poker Hall of Famer Tim Negreanu out in fourth for $93,000. The stars are out here at the U.S. Poker Open. Good point by Poker Go in the YouTube chat. Greatest accomplishment is probably between Jeff Platt's WSOP final table and Brent Hanks' miracle bracelet win. Yeah, it comes down to those. Very two. good, yeah. Johnny Chan back-to-back -back main event, and, yeah, then, and then second, second to third that's year. That's that's really good, Johnny Quad. Yeah, that's a tough one. Stu Unger, three main event wins. Yeah, I mean, Pretty that's, good. you know, listen, these are all good. Yeah. Troy Den Jeff putting up with Hanks for hours on end. That's a good one. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah right. I think it qualifies. It's a really hard one. I mean, the greatest, yeah. you know, the greatest accomplishment in poker history is Friedman's got to be up there. I, you know, there's no denying it. We have lots of pair of jacks, a couple backdoor draws. Checks on the term. Shannon knows he's up against a lot of jacks, nines. Once in a while, yes, your opponent can have an ace. If 
he's going to bet turn, then I would expect to see a third shell by the river as well. Let's see which route he takes. And here it comes. He's going to bet big here on the turn to set up a power punch on the river. And this very well could work on the turn. Uh, you can fold out a jack once in a while. We know that this is more of sort of the exploitative style from Shannon Shore. Perhaps not all GTO. This is old school Shannon right here. Oh, yeah. Quickly reaches for the chips and does make the call. That's 1.7 million in this oh, pot. Oh, or just King get there. on the river. Hello. That was an option as well. To Certainly just was. Think the king ball. What is Oya thinking about? He's got the queen of clubs in yeah. his hand. Is he and really? Check, like, check. A check raise. It could have gone completely ham. It goes check, check, and Shore is going to oh. show down the winner. Getting there oh, with the king. Oh, bluff all the time. <laughs> wow. Kitchen, kitchen. Always bluffing. Mm. That's ham. Thank you. I'm kind of bummed that <laughs> king came, honestly. <laughs> I wanted to see what Shanna was going to do on the river. I, I have no doubt a third shell was going to be incoming. Viva. And look at this, Shore now up to almost 6 million in chips. Yeah, that's more than half the chips in play, 51% to be exact. Look at the chip denominations presented by Storm X, blue chips 5K, purples 25K a piece. The Bumblebees are 100K each. So at 40K, 80K, and 80K big blind ante, 40 minute levels throughout the entire US Poker Open, except for the main. Start at 40 minutes, go up to 60. Gonna bring the thunder again, Alabama. Pretty hand, 5-4, diamonds. Let's see if Lynn is setting up a little check jam, or limp jam, sorry. He's got 28 bigs, maybe a little too steep, Jeff. Ops for the limp call Does instead. Call, yeah. Ace, queen, four. All hearts, Lynn has the five of hearts, pairs for both. Lynn with the aces. Yeah, big trouble here for Shannon Shore. You can see now all of a sudden just 7%. Pretty much dead to just a four. Flat 30. He's going to try and tell Flat that aggressive 30. story. Big raise pre to 200. Get called. Comes ace, queen, x high. Trying to represent the sort of hand that Lynn is holding. Time bank for an additional 30 seconds to act. Oh. Flicks in a call. Ten of clubs on the yeah. turn. Quick check by Lynn. Shannon again. Soaking it all in. What am I up against? Yes, Lynn can limp call various bad aces, right? Can also be a variety of queens. Could he have some sort of heart that he's simply peeling with? He doesn't love this spot at all. Hoping to get lucky on the river. Does not. Lynn leading here for 475,000. This would be awfully thin. Great value bet, by the way, for Lynn. Obviously, Shannon is curious, thinking, okay, buddy, do you have just like the jack or king of hearts somehow in your hand? 
that was unconnected? Could it be a hand like King-8, Jack-8? Oh, we beat game. those sorts of hands, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> chips up just a bit. Take a look at the payouts presented by Storm X, $111,600. Guaranteed to our final three out of 37k pay jump from third to second, up top $213,900, 214 points in the race for the Golden Eagle Trophy. David Peters, the back-to-back -back U.S. Poker Open winner. Haven't seen him yet. I don't know if we will, Jeff. We're talking about that. He's taking a lot of time off from poker. My guess is he's not here for event one, obviously. He didn't play the 10K. He's sure as hell not playing the PLO. No. If we see him, I think it'll be for the final few bigger events, the 25K and the 50K. And the door could very well still be open You can there. win it. You can come in and win. You can win three in a row towards the end of the series. You can walk away with this thing. Uh, hell, you could final table one, get a top three finish, and then win the 50K and still be the outright champion. Take home that golden eagle. Peters has five U.S. Poker Open tournament wins. Stephen Chidwick has four. Sean Winter and Ali Amshurovich each have two. Six seventy-five. What has taken Ali so long pack. this year? Yeah. Shore dialing up the aggression is what is Oya? Oh yeah, seven eight suited Ooh. boy. He had a little twinkle yeah, in his eye. Did. I thought I... he was about to go nuts. And what's Lynn thinking? He's thinking, oh boy, he's gonna fold the <laughs> ace nine. Ace ace of course now. Gonna ace ace and a flush. <laughs> Taking a walk. That one off. Yeah, he can't oh. take it anymore. He's had enough. <laughs> Alabama, you're so lucky. <laughs> Oh man, well, easy for me double up. Got it. Wow, man, how lucky. <laughs> how lucky this guy. Alright guys, four hands in the floor. My team, you get with the ace. Drew four. Four hands. four hands left at this 40k, 80k okay, level. Okay, ace is not. <laughs> oh. Been freaking out. Oh. I mean, he had a hand he could have four bet all in with with ace nine, three handed, 30 bigs. Sometimes you just got to go with it, Jeff. Come on, Gene. Especially if you're going to be this oh, upset afterwards. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. So, oh, Oya yeah. using the same size that he's been using for raises on the button out of the small blind <laughs> here versus yeah. big blind, which makes it awfully small. Man. Lim with the 4-3 oh, does not now. like oh, to oh, fold oh. in the big. Yeah, and he's kind of steaming price. right now. Yeah. He wants to quite literally yeah, gamble it up. lucky you are. AC. That was pretty lucky. <laughs> lucky with the worst hand. <laughs> Eight, seven, six. Two spades, sevens for Oya. I'm still mad. More frustration shown. Perfect dummy timing to double on me, man. <laughs> and a limp on the button. Where's that ginger ale, Jeff? <laughs> Lynn limps in. Oh, look 
Good shore. He is. He is feeling it now. This is old school. He's going to punish the limpers. But he has rewound the books. He's back in 2010 right now. And oh, he just snaps. Yeah, just wants a C3 with the suited queen. Land out of the way, going to take another walk. <laughs> there he goes. Wow. He's queen six. Queen's for oh, yeah, Sixes for sure. See Lynn talking to Negranu in the background. Just a little, little down bet, they call it. Less than what he opened. Controls the pot. He's got a little taste. He's hoping the 10, the 6 are live. I think Shannon, are, he can absolutely be concerned about being up against an ace. There's not a ton Ooh. of, oh my, look at this little ticket. He said the 10 and the 6 could be live. They are, oh. it's now 10s and 6s for sure. Yeah, and now he's hoping, where I was going a moment ago, that he is up against some sort of limped ace on the button. Sure, there are certain queens that could be out there. Going to be hard to put him on the old queen three suited. But ace X makes a lot of sense. Now that we've jumped way out in front of those sorts of hands, yeah, we size it up. About two thirds here. And we know Shannon has shown up with a variety of bluffs. He has certainly seemed like the most aggressive player at this table, especially three handed. And Oya, I think, has just had enough. Just going to say, okay, sometimes you got to pay him the money. Show me the goods. Calls here. Gonna have a little more than two million left behind. There it Does is. Indeed, make the call. And this is the the power of aggression. Shannon Shore has earned this spot, earned this, this sort of situation. All this money in the middle with the goods. He's set up a shove pretty well on the river, considering there's almost three million in the pot. And Oya has 2.2 million behind. And the river brings a blank. And again, he's hoping he's up against Ace X and gets called on the river. I think you'd be surprised to see it's a queen, although maybe not so much, considering, again, this image of just reckless aggression. And it is so controlled and scientific, really, by Alabama Shore. trying to sell it, looking nervous, hesitating, taking his time. We all know it's coming. Ten seconds. All in. Wow, he checked, and Oya just rips it with the queens. What just happened? Shore has asked for a count. What just happened? Oh, this is completely twisted. Not what? how we expected I this to go. I thought Shannon was moving it in, and all of a sudden, Oya... It's on him Just and he's... Just the snap shove. What is going on? Uh, how do you make sense of this if you're Shannon? Is, is it Miss Diamonds? What would he ever do this with? He's probably worried about a hand like Ace-4. Sure, with no diamond or club in his hand. And Ren Lin, a very interested observer... So there's about a 37k pay jump from third to second. Two million one hundred sixty. Yeah. What a hand this turned out to be. I imagine Shannon checked this, hoping he was up against the missed draw. You can't fold two pair, right? You just got to put the money in and hope that he missed everything. We've seen Oya is capable of the big bluffs. He's been picked off by Shannon before. I almost <clears throat> think Oya's hand good enough to check back, but he... Right, I, I said, let's turn it into a bluff.
Shore would take an absolutely commanding chip lead. <laughs> if this shove did get through, Oya would take the chip lead back from Shannon. What a wild one we have here. I think he's down to one extension. Or no, he's got some in his got hand couple, and a couple yeah. off to the side. All right, he's got time. I, I just, two pair, I think, is too good of a hand, Jeff. You're really only concerned about a hand like ace four, which I think is exactly what's on Shannon's mind. It looks like he's had ace X all along. He oh, knows yeah, he would never in. shove a hand like ace three, or at least that's what he thinks, but he will be shocked to see what Oya has here when he rewatches the tape, he's although five. I think we just got to find the call. Down to two time extensions. The one's off to the side he's already used. This is going to pain him. Either way, I guess. I call. He makes the call. And with that, Masashi Oya is eliminated in third place. Wow. For $111,600. Shore okay. finds the call. Shore uh, you, takes the huge to? chip lead. Uh, uh, Mr. Podium, is, Oya, little peace sign yeah. on his way out. Okay. Another top three finish for this young phenom out of Japan. Okay. He's probably going to hop in the next one. And uh, that hand, folks, one of the, the, the wildest ones we have seen thus far. Shannon Shore now. I Massive chip lead. Know, Heads up. I don't think so. <laughs> Sure. Pretty good hand, but, but he can be flushed. Went all through there. all the emotions here. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, certainly displayed a bold style throughout. Happy to have him here in the U.S. Poker Open. He's out in third, and we are heads up for the title. You guys have two more hands in this wild water. Do you guys want to play the two hands, then take a short break, or do you have something you want to talk about? Okay, okay, alright. Um. Eight, seven, Wow. I just got to enjoy the music, I think, for a minute, Jeff. I mean, I'm not sure what I just witnessed. I imagine that was a, a big bluff attempt. I have no clue. Shannon Shore is the chip leader with 9.5 million. Yeah. Masashi Oya he got finished third. in yeah. third. Yeah. Holy cow. What Alan. a chip lead for sure. Here we go. No, Tony, no gamble, no future. He's going to have to do a lot of that to get back into this thing. He's got about 25 big blinds where wow. so Shannon Chor is 82% of the chips. Media. Uh, 10 media. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I think it's your second, please. You can beat me in the heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Tony says you got no chance coming after it. Well, all. listen, anything can happen. That's true. As we've Heads seen. up, it, it is as chaotic as it gets. It's always an adventure. You only got one, right? I have two, actually. Still two, okay. Shore's last win came in September, one event number one of the Poker Masters. <laughs> Ren Lin's last win came in November, won a 10K high roller at Aria. I don't know, Jeff. Was that a value shove? Ooh. Was that a bluff? What? Just it's sort of a like a, a kind of a, a spazzy moment. I mean, we've all been there. Yeah, true. You know, I, you just I, get caught up in the spotlight. You feel the pressure. Don't like, think oh, about what you're trying to accomplish. Maybe I got a shove. Maybe. I yeah. Don't know. Or I mean, you, you do put the aces to a test.
Shore will look for a little value. Delivering the queen. And Lynn calls with Jack High. Wow. Well, we're seeing things now left That's and right. That's true. Huh? Uh, if Daniel Negrano can do it, I can too. <laughs> Both 0 for 2 calling with Jack High. Second Take call notes, the boys. Stop Jack calling. High, yeah. Stop calling with Jack High. It's hard to find a win. Shore extends the chip lead. Uh, it is absolutely, uh, it is madness here inside the studio today. I, we, we have seen some insane plays and maneuvers. That hand is, that'll go down as one of the more interesting hands that I think you and I have covered in absolutely. quite some time. Jotten Sablani says he thinks Shore would fold a pair of aces there. That could be true. Maybe be. one pair we find a fold, but he has aces with a a club in his hand, for example. Maybe yeah. he finds the fold. You got to give credit to Shannon for for really soaking it in. Yeah, and, and absolutely. It's it's easy for us to look at that and be like, oh, two pair call. Seemed like he sort of flipped but, a coin and decided two oh, pair oh, is just too yeah, good to fold. So and he limped pre, and maybe he doesn't right. limp pre with the ace queens of the world, and he just raises pre. And that was a, that was a crazy hand. Okay. Right, there we go. We'll take a little break now, I believe. Yeah, right, Jeff? Good, uh -huh. Sounds good to me. We need one. Yeah, don't go anywhere. Heads up for the title of event number one, Shannon Shore with 9.6 million. Brent Lynn with about two million in chips. Heads up play continues after this. I think that's you play with him. King Queen. King Queen? Wow. <clears throat> and there was a time, Jeff, where Seidel you look down at King Queen suited, you say, okay, I've got about 25 big blinds. This guy no open, I am that, just yeah. moving it all in. Dangerous, but dangerous. the game, the strategy has changed so much <laughs> okay, where Seidel's not gonna do that. <laughs> Joe Chong has eight bits. <laughs> all, all thanks to you. <laughs> Don't give away money. The hand's too too good to, to simply, you can't just fold, but he's gonna call rather than move it all in. About a 19K pay jump from six to fifth. 150. Negrani will raise out of the small blind with King Jack. 6-5 offsuit for sure in the big. Started with about 1.1. Thank you. <clears throat> sure makes the call. Negrani with 20 bigs behind. Hands up. Jack six deuce. Pairs for both. Top pair for Negrano. Yeah, this is trouble for sure. Uh, extremely dry flop. You have middle pair. You can see he's already debating. If Daniel comes with, with a C-bet here, which we fully expect, what is optimal? Depending on the sizing of this bet. It looks like Negrano's gonna size it up. Oh, interesting. 225. Wow. Goes about two thirds, 225K. With 735K behind. These are two very methodical, high-level thinking players. Shannon is ingesting the information. What hands would Daniel do this with? Would he ever do it with King Queen? Just total air. Shore makes the call. 800K now in the pot. Negrano is 735K behind. Seven of diamonds on the turn. Daniel knows, okay, I have the best jack right now. The question is, if Shore does have a six, what sixes is he defending from the big blind? Is it four six suited, five six off, six seven off? Eight six is also reasonable. Ten seconds. And there is also the world where we just have oh, Shannon no, dominated with today? the best jack. Yeah. Today. Today? Nothing. Today nothing? Just money. Goes about quarter and pot glory. here, 225,000. New woman, just glory. Yeah. 
Well, you better play PLO very, very good then. Yeah. Okay. When I went there for space, and the sizing is very hand. interesting. He went three quarters on the flop, and then he goes quarter pot on the turn. Yeah, yeah. He just—I think the ground who feels like he has the absolute nuts right now. It should be fine. Yeah, we'll make it. Trying to get a little bit more value. He was worried that if he did That's shove, bust people quick. Shannon would fold all of his sixes. Nice lay down there by Shannon. It really is, yeah. Touchdown, Tom Brady. Nice hand. 15 years into Shannon's poker career, he finally has a nickname. So it's, uh, keep an eye on those blind-on-blind -blind matchups between Oya, Shore, and Oya and Chong. Shannon and his wife have a baby girl. Nora is four months old. Great stuff. And of course, Shannon uh, just recently married as well. Congratulations to, to the Shore family. A long time, Shannon Shore. Yeah. I mean, I when I first started playing, here we go. A shove now from the small blind call. Oya. Good enough, and there's the call. Chong makes the call. Here we go. Lady Joseph Oya. Chong all in and at risk. I don't know. Eddie Gaga? Yeah, Lady Oya. But I don't With know. Queen Jack against Oya. <laughs> you know, Lady across. Gaga's coming? Well, he said yeah, but, uh, but maybe Ace is coming too. Ace and Lady know. Gaga. I don't want to see that, but anyway. <laughs> I want to see that, see the Lady Gaga first. Huh? Chong on the ropes, but if he finds a win, he's at about 16 bigs. <coughs> Just about a 40 60 dog. Wow. Gonna be tough. Going to be tough. Down to runner, runner. Yeah, we can always make the wheel back to our Broadway. There's plenty of outs here, Jeff. Give us a little bit of a sweat. Queen or Jack, just a sweat. Okay, and that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, good game, Joey. Thank you. Okay, we'll go Dina, ping, ping, pong. Short and sweet. Joseph John, Allen Six, $55,800, 56 points. What time is it, Jeff? I mean, you don't think I already got started? I mean, I woke up, realized what day it was, and said, okay, it's go time. Nine of diamonds for Negreanu. Shannon Jor, the only one at the table that's going to celebrate this wonderful holiday. A little green shirt, kind of a darker green, but it's a qualifier. It counts, it yeah. Counts. I didn't. One you don't have a single yeah. piece of green on you. I don't. Ace Jack of Spades. Yeah, no small blind. No small blind. No, no worth it. <laughs> Negreanu with thirty hmm. bigs to start the hand. Lynn okay, 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 okay. Glances at the clock. I'll call you. Okay. Shannon Shore, Ren Lin. Heads up for the title of event number one at the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. Heads up for $213,900. Heads up for 214 points in the race for that Golden Eagle Trophy. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth. Brent, the stage is set for heads up play and some work to do for Tony. Well, no gamble, no future is the motto, Jeff. I mean, you just got to come out swing and try and get back into this thing. It has been total domination by Shannon Shore once we got three-handed, which led to this massive chip lead. Shannon Shore out of Alabama taking that big chip lead into heads up play. His last win came to kick off a PGT series last year at the Poker Masters. He's got 9.6 million in chips. Lynn has about 2 million, so about 20 bigs. 50K, 100K with a 100K big blind ante. Shannon, off the phone, please, and then we can get started. Well, he's probably running some numbers. <laughs> Who knows what he's trying to figure out? These guys are all so smart. Studied civil engineering at Alabama. Oh, Unbelievably right, intelligent guy. Terrific poker player, obviously. How about that? Did you see that he uh, he climbed Kilimanjaro? Yeah, and back in uh, 2014. What in the world? Just climbed the? Is that the tallest mountain in the world? Uh, it's got to be one of them, if not the tallest. I don't no. You ever climbed a mountain? Lone Mountain. Yeah. Here mountain in here Vegas? in Las Vegas. Yeah, we're not right quite to as the top. High. I've been there twice, Jeff. Oh, nice. I've been to the summit. Right up there at the tippy top. Took some pictures of my kids in the backyard. Actually took my two boys up to the top of that mountain, believe it or not. 
Really? Well, I had to carry my tough... four-year-old back down. It wasn't easy. I was, I was tough hurt. Climb. It was tough. You would, you wouldn't be able to do it. No, I'd be no. out on that one. You asked me to do it once. I said no, thank you. I know. Not a big exercise guy. <laughs> well, exercise is fine. No, me. I mean. Oh, yeah. gotcha. You're just not an outdoors guy. You don't like to go outside. No, I love to go outside. I ah. just don't like to hike. Ah. I love the sun. Yeah. Out by a pool, camp out. Oh, you like camping? No, 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 not camping. We could <laughs> go camping. The we phrasing could do a, was poor on that one. I love camping. We could do a nice like trip, go to out, a mountain. Lay out by the pool. Maybe Set up a, a tent. No, no, you no, know, no. Do no, some no. fishing the on the open thing, water, no. the stream, oh, cook it overnight. Fishing you know, like. that's what we'll do. Fishing we do. I'll bring a smoker. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have a great time. I'll get a, I'll get something booked for us. You'll love no, it. No, I Jeff. wouldn't worry about booking it. We'll, we'll just go when we're available. Oh, you're going to have a blast. No, I'm very busy over the next couple of years. I think Mount Everest is the tallest mountain, according to uh, Asterix. Uh -huh. Kilimanjaro's got to be up there, though, right? Probably. Yeah. Lynn with top pair here. Ashore the check raise with the gutter. Pauline. Lynn says all of it. Shore oh, says love full. me again. <laughs> well, there's a step in the right direction for Tony Lynn, now up over. <laughs> 25 bigs. He's looking to climb a mountain of his own, <laughs> yeah, if you know what I mean. To, yeah, well, the waves may come down crashing on that shore, if you hear me. Jeff. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. We're on fire right. today. Chong out in sixth. Seidel eliminated in fifth. Negrano Busto in fourth. Oh, yeah. Out in third place. And a hand that we kept talking about through the break. I don't know what I witnessed. I really don't. If you missed it, I'm sure it'll be out on social media. Make sure you go check out at Poker Go everywhere. That that was something else. Lynn checks and flops another nine. Well, here's how you get back into a match. You just keep connecting yeah, with top pair, and you're going to be hard to beat. Not going to be easy to put Renlin away. Seven on the turn. Renlin, five and two, lifetime heads up. Shannon Shore, 11 and 11. Not right, bad in 500. Yeah. That's a lot of heads up matches for yes. Shannon Shore. His first win came in 2006 at a 1K at the Bellagio Cup. You probably played in that one. What year? 2006. No, I was before my little prime. Before little before, but Shannon was out here, man. He was he was one of the first, you know, 21 year olds playing online that yeah. came out here early 2000s. 06 may have been his first year here, and I promise you he was... That makes sense looking at his... He was 22, 23 years old at most. Under one of the more famous screen names, Bluff for Rent. Yeah. And now I think he has a great screen name, Olophobia, which means Fear of Rivers. Perfect. Get it? Like it. Love yeah. It. So he would not want to go camping. Well, I think he Down just by the river. rivers in the, the poker. No, he might world. be afraid of water, Jeff. That, that's, yeah. He doesn't strike me as a. Well, I, he didn't say that he's been, you know, kayaking down rivers or doing any whitewater rafting. He climbs mountains. He doesn't go near rivers, Jeff. No water on Kilimanjaro. I didn't see anything on that bio about water. Well, maybe we didn't ask him if he likes water. Or he might not, not know how to swim. I think he's probably fine. He's a lot water. like I, you. I don't know. What? I don't know how to swim. Oh, I thought you didn't know how to swim. You do know how to swim? I do know how to swim. Oh, yeah. you do? Oh. Yeah. Did you learn that at camp when you used to go to camp out in, uh, where'd you go to yeah, Oklahoma? Wisconsin. Wisconsin? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say I learned how to swim there, but I did plenty of swimming there. What was that camp called again? Water is called Nabagaman. Say that again? Nabagaman. Nabagaman. Yeah. Yeah. It's a simple name. Camp Nabagaman. Yeah. Shout out. Camp like Nabagaman. Like a bag of men. Is that what, like, Nabagaman? What? 
It's just what the, the city was called, Lake in the back. Oh, it's a city. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like a, th okay, a themed camp or something. Okay, I, I'm with you now. <laughs> sure flops the gutter, Lynn flops top pair. How does Lynn just continue to flop yeah. top pair after top pair? That is so hard to do. Now it's trouble yeah. for sure. A little gutter ball with second pair. And another check from Lynn. He's happy to check back on the turn. The river brings the ten of diamonds. Not sure what we beat. Have to be turning a, a three into a bluff if it's any pair. Diamonds come home. It would, it, or just some random, you know, ace high that's turned its hand into a bluff. Maybe sure hoping that he can beat a six and it's a thin value bet out of Lynn. I think and that's pretty much what he's decided on. Does reach for oh. chips, does make the call, and here comes Ren Lynn. Yeah. Getting closer at about 35 bigs now. Uh, Jason says Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa and also right. is the highest freestanding mountain in the world. Yeah. That's what you said, basically. Well, I don't know if I said that, but Everest, I believe, is the largest mountain and tallest mountain in the world, right? Is that still confirmed? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I could always use Google. Yeah, but what's the fun in that? It's very hard. And after that conversation, Ebo's comment of worst commentary team for sure does actually make a lot of sense. Right. <laughs> yeah. So Ebo's a big fan. Pretty big, I would big say. Big fan, yeah. Well, Ebo, if you want to, you know, learn a lot about the game, there's plenty of training sites out there, man. Go spend the money and do that. I'm sure there's free stuff too, just like this stream that we are kindly giving you. Sure wins with Ace High. Shannon off the schneid. A little bit of a hiccup to start heads up play. Credit to Lynn. He's crawled back into this thing. 35 bigs. Scott in the chat. The mountain climbing play-by-play -play guy's job is safe from Jeff. Yep, <laughs> fairly true. I don't think we're going to challenge any of the mountain climbing commentary teams. In the uh, future. You never know. You never know. We could get I there. Think we could. You know what, Ebo? I'm just going to do you a favor, buddy. Hold on one second. We call this the whole take care. No, leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. Leave him. Just a little time out, Jeff. Oh, okay. I That's haven't done that today. I really wanted to do it to okay, this guy. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Fine. I think I think Ebo's going to become a fan. Just a little time out. That's fine. A little bit. Starting 150. Call 150. And check calls here with the eights. Sure. Double cutter for sure. Yeah, sort of a, a beautiful ticket here considering Shore opened this pot to 150. He, he can represent this texture. He's got added equity. 
as you mentioned, double gutted with a queen. It's a beautiful card to try and apply a ton of pressure to an eight or a 10, even a jack at this point. All get put in pretty tough spots, like the spot Ren Lin is facing, and he does lay it down. To your point, Brent, that eight does not look great. In that spot, well done, Shannon Shore. David in the chat, dude, is this guy joking? What else would Everest be known for? Only mountain to start with the letter E? Uh, good point, yeah, but it turns out it's really not the tallest. All right, let's take a look at our Global right. Poker hand of the day. Global Poker, free poker at its best. And Brent, of Count course, there is only one hand to pick today. I, I mean, nothing uh, like this has happened in quite some time. I have no clue how to explain the rhyme or reason by Oyo, who, who ends up being sent home here, but just a brutal spot for Shannon. Great call. Oh yeah, turning his queens into a bluff, we believe. We sure, finding the call with two pair yeah. to eliminate <coughs> Oya and take a massive chip lead into heads up play. That's our hand of the day from Global Poker, free poker at its best. Shore with 8.5 million, Lin with 3.1 million in chips. Yeah, credit to Lin. I mean, again, he started off short. It seemed like this thing was completely over and done with. Shannon was going to walk out of here easy. And uh, Lin fought back, now over 30 big blinds. In fine shape, double up away from essentially having the chip lead. But how many times, Jeff, have we seen that ridiculous comebacks yeah. when you're at a huge deficit and the short stack just finds a way. Shore raising here with the jack four diamonds. Lynn calls king and nine, 10, five, three. Shore fires 225k, Lynn quickly calls. Ace on the turn, the gutter for Shore, and perhaps the opportunity to represent something here. Very similar situation that we saw just a moment ago where he had queen high and was able to barrel it off again. He's got that spot right now here with the jack four. Added equity, favorable texture considering his aggression pre-flop. He's gonna mix it up, he just checks it back. Seven of clubs on the river, 1.1 million in this pot. Lynn's king high is best. Sort of surprised that he didn't bet the turn to tell that believable story. Maybe a little concerned that Lynn could have a five or a 10 and just would not fold, but here it comes. Here comes another shot, River. This puts King High in a world of hurt. This is a very difficult spot to be in. Oh. Wow. And a pretty quick call with King High and a good one at that. Ren Lin, I got my eyes on you. Oh, look at my You're still bluffing me, huh? Oh. Still bluffing. Can't bluff a natural nine. Wow. <laughs> a natural a nine. Great call. And quickly, I'll tell you what, this guy's got some fantastic instincts. He called out Negranu's hand twice today. Yeah. Eliminated Negranu, saying, I think you got king queen. And called it did. off with a <laughs> six. It held. Ren Lin, originally from China, lives in New York, owns that yogurt shop in Augusta, Georgia. Of course, because that makes sense. You're from <laughs> China, you live in New York, but if you own a yogurt shop in Georgia, because it all just makes sense, Jeff. We've really enjoyed getting to know Lin over this last year or so. 
become good friends with him. He says, you know, my friends call me Tony, so we've call him, called him Tony. And I think everybody in the chat is his friend. Oh, right? he is absolutely entertaining. I, I love whenever Tony Lynn is at a final table. Now again with a flush draw. And some momentum <coughs> for Mr. Lynn. I will tell you that we have a lot of controversy and drama uh, in the YouTube chat is over the mountain, thing. over the tallest mountain. Now, I genuinely thought it was Everest. And, and it, of course, it, it dawned on me that must be true because we've heard it so many times. But one of our loyal members in the chat is actually saying it's in Hawaii. I know. I've seen that a lot, too. And it's led to this sort of Americans versus international oh, crowd. They're no. fighting, Jeff. Oh, They're no. fighting. Yes. Why can't we all just be friends? Visit the mountains together. I'm not going to visit the mountains with you guys. But I've seen some of the Netflix specials on the mountain climbing. It is intense. Lynn calls with the King Four. Eight, seven, six. Gutter for Lynn, top pair for sure. Just a quick fold with King High and the gutter, right? Love it. Maybe a club in his hand, and he says no bluff and this he's time. Right. He knows it. He's right. He just knows. Renlin might be the definition of a field player. Like you said, showing us pretty good instincts oh, for the phenomenal. game. Phenomenal. My main instinct leads me to drink tequila. Tequila Comisario. Yeah. Well. Part of the PGT. Good day, bad day. It's all the same for you. You end up finding yourself just buried in the bottle of tequila comisario. Just get a glass of the Añejo. Neat. Oh, yeah. I'm good to go. Right. Good for you. Thank you. You deserve it. Thank you. Lynn getting a little tricky here, mixing in a call with the ace queen on the button. And flops the stone cold nutter butters while Shore flops top pair. Wow. Keep in mind, he limped mm -hmm. the button this hand. I, I, this is could not be any more well disguised if you tried. How he just limps in with ace queen off of 40 bigs, flops the stony balonies. Somehow Shannon has top pair. Five of diamonds on the turn, 550K in the pot. That number will escalate. This is Lynn living the dream. And I'd like to believe that the reason this is all unfolding and happening in his life is because of his hat and his hoodie, which happens to be the name of, well, Jeff, that's our show on the side. No gamble, no future, yeah. baby. Of course, we're not going to plug ourselves. But if you no, did want to buy that merchandise, it. you could go to shop.pokergo.com as we watch Lynn put on a clinic. Shore check calls once again. We can see he's drawing stone dead. And that river is a blank. That is trouble. I don't think there's any way he can get away from a reasonably sized bet. What does Lynn decide to bring here? 1.4 in the middle. Oh, he's cutting it out. A bundle of bumblebees. Looks like about a pot size bet. Still Maybe adding a to touch it. Touch more. Yep, as he continues to add to that stack. The slight over bet, 1.55 million. And this is going to be very difficult for Shannon Shore to get away from. I give him credit for taking this much time, perhaps the slight overbet. Uh, recognition of strength, limp button, could you have been trying to trap me all along? It's so hard to get away from top pair. 
in these spots. You're worried about a hand like Jack-10. This is a great wow. fold. Fantastic wow. lay down wow. by Shore. That's beautiful. Cool Good fold is right. Shore finds the fold with top pair to maintain the chip lead. Uh, that was top shelf, yeah. really, by, by Shannon. And holy moly. Check call, check call, check fold. Zenny, I wear for everyone. You wearing some Zennies? Today? I am wearing a pair of Beautiful. Zennies. No, I, they, they really are. They truly are. I love these glasses. I have four pairs. Four. Four <laughs> pairs of Zennies. They're great. It is game on here at the U.S. Poker Open. Yeah, we're talking mountains, and uh, yeah, Mount Lynn is starting to form yep, over there yep. in front of Tony. It's Lynn Sanity. It's good. We could use a poker version of Lynn Sanity. Yeah. Our executive producer, Dan Gaudio, liked that one. Big Knicks fan. I think that was the last good week the Knicks had. Been a while, huh? Been a number of years. I mean, last year they were very good, and then they turned very bad very quickly. What happened? Was it the Julius Randle that didn't really pan no, out? or no, what? he's good last year. and Not this year, huh? They're all pretty horrendous. Hard to be a Knicks Barrett's fan. Future. Showman's yeah, a big Knicks fan as well. Yeah. Die hard. Struggling. Sits courtside, or at least used to back in the day, you know, pre-family pre and kids and all that. Tony Sinistaj, after winning the win millions, the current leader. The 2022 PGT standings. Saw Tony took a little heat for a winner's photo. Yeah, what's up with what that? Was, what was the problem? Because he didn't smile? I guess. And, it, you know, it's. A little blown out of proportion, maybe? It seemed like it, yeah. didn't it? Well, I don't know. As far I... as saying he's. That this is why poker isn't marketable. Spade on the river. Sure, with that king of spades. Hard to say poker's not marketable. Last I checked, all of our majors are going to be on national television. The World Series is on Whoa, national television man, every single year. I, it, sponsors everywhere. Yeah, I, you know, Jeff, I kind of think it's marketable. Well, e even if there's a debate about whether the game is marketable or not, it doesn't come down to one, one winner's guy's photo. photo. Yeah. I mean, that, you know. And then one picture is not going to say anything about it. He could have been smiling, mm -hmm. laughing it up the whole day. Yeah, maybe they caught him in a picture, weird shot. Yeah. Right. Maybe he found out something happened to his dog or something, you know, right, right. after he won it. Anything could put you down yeah. in the dumps. Strange timing, but yes. Right. Well, you don't want to tell someone the bad That's news true. when they're on their way the, yeah. to a victory. Yeah. You hit them with it right after. Oh, by the way, true, you know, right. Spud passed away, right? You, you, you hit them with it after the good. Yeah. You, you, if you, you hit them with it heads win. up, I mean, they can't win. Yeah. You're, you're, Especially if you have a Why piece. would you do that to somebody? You know, I mean, would you want to find out about Buddy if you're day five of the main? you got to keep going. I mean, going. probably, yeah, I would want to know. What, I get the point. Top pair for sure. Top two pair yeah. for Lynn. Uh, Lynn is continuing to just go nuts yeah. here. Cools off Shannon Ooh, in this check, spot. Check. <laughs> you will hear Negrano in the background. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he loves it. Could almost hear the whole story. Maybe talking word about Helmuth, I believe, in his social media posts. Lynn leads for 200K. Shore makes oh, the call geez. and another queen on the My river. My goodness, this could be a huge possible double up. There's not a lot in there, oh, though. Maybe we checks. go for the check raise. This As the case queen rolls off on the river. Oh, this is tasty. And this is trouble for sure. Uh, there's an undertow at the beach. We're 
We're going to need all swimmers out of the water. 850. Uh -oh. And the over bet by Shore, which is the absolute dream music to Lynn's ears. Hit him with the Tom Brady, Tony. Volume. All of it. Yeah, this Count is that, brutal, or they're brutal for sure. Uh -huh. He knows what bluffs could Tony possibly have here, right? It, uh, like a counterfeited fives and fours. Uh, the, you cert once in a while, theory says you can turn those hands into bluffs. You're blocking full houses, but heads up, this matchup, this dynamic. Is there really anything that you think that Lynn could be bluffing with here? 6-7 even makes sense. He'd probably yeah. do it with a straight, hoping oh, Shannon has some sort of queen. How much? Four. 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 Three hundred. Three hundred. Thirty-five. I think, I think it's uh, four, two, seven. Total is five hundred. I think. Sure is uh, correct. Total four hundred. Yeah. Four, 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 four twenty. One That's one million, right? One million. That's four million. That's a four million two hundred thirty-five. Yes. And start the clock. You just don't see this very often. I mean, the guy started with almost 50 big. Shannon, slight overbit on the river, and Lynn just pile drives it, just rips it. Like you said, hard to find. I, I just many can't bluffs. find a bluff unless we think that Lynn is doing it with a counterfeited two pair. Or does Lynn have some, you know, just go bananas bluffs where we they might. don't really make sense, kind of like we saw from Oya earlier. You just earlier. tee it up and you go full-blown Happy Gilmore. Uh, I mean, it, it happens I once in a while. Six four or something. Does he go ballistic? So hard to fold trips heads up in this spot, but I think Shannon has yet to make a mistake. At this final table, all of his big decisions have been dialed in and spot on. And remember, because of that last big decision against Oya, he's pretty limited on his time banks. I think he's all out. I yeah. think he's, he's all in with time banks right now. This is it. We got 30 seconds to decide. Ten seconds left. Flipping a coin Flips to decide. It. Wow. wow. That's the luckiest coin flip of <laughs> Shannon Shore's is. career. He is going to be thrilled when he reviews this. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, Lynn takes the oh-so-small chip lead. Game on. <clears throat> oh, it's never easy. Heads up. Right now, Shore's feeling it. Uh, realized he had almost 10 million chips. Thought it was over, but he's been here so many times, Jeff. You said his heads up career. He's 11 and 11. I guarantee the majority of those were grueling heads up matches. Yeah. Back and forth, teeter totter affair. That's just the nature of the beast. Case in point, the Poker Masters event he won last year, he was heads up with David Peters. I believe that took a while. It's just back to work for Alabama Shore. And Lynn is on his throat. He's coming after it now. Seven deuce. Limps the button. 
which I love to see. I know it's a bad hand, but you really should be playing heads up because of the big blind ante. You should be playing like 98% at a minimum, all hands. You just all, you're well, getting the, the right price. Well, would the 2% include the 7-deuce off? You're getting the right price. I mean, I mean it's okay. just you should be playing the majority yeah, of I hands. Yeah, I get what you're I, saying. Yeah. I know Daniel Negreanu said, oh, you don't have to. It's opponent depending at times. But the reality is you're you're just getting way too good of a price, and you're also very deep. Almost 60 blinds deep. Shore now reclaims ever so small chip lead after that pot. But we are neck and neck for that title. Taking a look at the current standings for the U.S. Poker Open, which of course are just for now the top five of event, of event number one. 214 points up top in this one. Lynn could be a guy who we're pretty sure we'll see in the 25Ks. And right. if the trophy is on the line, maybe he enters the 50K price point. Shore has talked about making that move into the 25K level, into the 50K level. So these are some very significant points on the line here to kick off our U.S. Poker Open coverage. And those gold trophies you see on the shelves behind the players, those are all of the prelim trophies. The winner here of event number one is going to be able to take one off the shelf. That is theirs. And the Golden Eagle is the player of the series. Collect that beautiful trophy. It weighs 60 pounds. 60? Absolute. It's 60 pounds of pure gold eagle. And uh, there's also a $50,000 sweetener up top for the player of the series. 865, Lynn with the sevens in the open ender. Sure is the backdoor flush draw, the better one with the king of clubs. Three of diamonds on the turn. That Golden Eagle trophy, same model as last year. I have some, some stats on it if it is the same. It's slightly different. Okay. Uh, actually, the Golden Eagle trophy you're seeing on the studio, that is the exact same one that David Peters, he took it home. Gotcha. He had our trophy for the studio for an entire year. I just got it back. His trophy, which we had made for him, also arrived. I brought that to him today. Okay. So a little different, same weight, same size and dimensions, but the yeah. base is a different material. Okay. Of course, we have a personalized plate, and gray plate on the front for David Peters. So this one is 23 inches tall. That is taller than the Lombardi Trophy. Yes, it is. It's huge. And the FIFA World Cup Trophy. Yeah. How many pounds was I right? Or is it like 54 pounds? 50 pounds. pounds, yeah. 54, 60 pounds. Took over 60 hours to build. Yeah. With <clears throat> lost wax cast, whatever that means, bronze with gold and patina, like I said, and Brent wax infiltrated Polymethylometacrylate. Sure. For 40 hours. Yep. Yeah. Nailed that. Methylapolacrylate? No. no. Love that, that stuff. That was, that was not even close. Right. A new season of high stakes poker is available now exclusively on Poker Go. Doyle Brunson, Daniel Negrani, Phil Ivey, and more battle in poker's most iconic cash game. New episodes air every Monday through May 23rd. Subscribe now. Use the code USPO22. That's USPO22 to get a new annual subscription for less than $7 a month. Had no idea the trophy was taller than the Lombardi. Yeah. Just one inch shorter than the Larry O'Brien trophy that the NBA uses. Wow. So great little nuggets. Speaking of nuggets, every time I say that word, I get hungry. Yep, 900. Yeah. Ooh, sure, the three Here we go. with the king ball. At 900,000, Queen 10, not a bad hand, heads up. But Lynn lays it down. Surprised he didn't want to put some more chips in with that Queen 10? Uh, yeah, I, it's, it's not the sort of hand I'm ever folding. Heads up, 50 plus blinds deep. You know Shore is going to be very well balanced with his three betting range. It's not always a premium. You're sure. not always in trouble, right? He, He's going to mix it up with the King X, the Queen X. I feel like you could get a bit exploited if you're folding the Queen 10. Heads yeah, up to but that's that. not Tony Lynn's style, that's man. He, he, in the moment, feel. he goes with his gut. Yeah. He's got that feel. It is absolute Lynn sanity. Raised to 
call here with the 9-7. King at a coin 10, top pair for sure. It's Shannon Shore's turn to start collecting top pairs. At the moment, it is good. I think the binds are going up in the PLO event. I mean, there's like 30 people there, all in the same area. <laughs> it, and he's screaming it like it's it's across Allegiant Stadium. And Paul Campbell fired up. Yeah, very Best vocal. director in the business. Best staff and viewers here as well at RA at the Poker Go Studio. Look at our eliminations. Joseph Chong out in six. Seidel eliminated in fifth for $74,400. Negranu out in fourth. Busted by Tony Lynn. Sashi Oya eliminated in our hand of the day. Crazy one to say the least. Scott Graham says he heard that the blinds went up over in Indiana. <laughs> it's pretty good. Sure, Queen High for Lynn. Short check calls. Lynn's gonna win it with Queen I. Qualia, a blast. How your brackets looking, buddy? Pretty horrendous. Yeah, man. not good, Pretty huh? Pretty horrendous. Yeah, I guess I have to act interested in yours since you asked me about mine. Seventy-five by now. You don't have to. I'm, yeah. I'm just taking a look at some yeah, scoreboards right now. I, I, I think also very bad. Yeah. I mean, St. Peter's is beating Kentucky right now. What? Oh, that's what is going on? Wow. March Madness, baby. Let's raise the blind. Seventy-five k, one hundred twenty-five k with a one hundred twenty-five k big blind ante. Down goes Iowa today. Yeah, no surprise there. Point favorites. Good night. The Atlantic 10 is the most underrated conference in all of America. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. So will Davidson beat Michigan State? Yeah. Sure will. Take that information to the bank, folks. You're getting point. Well, I mean, that's a very close spread. Richmond being a ten and a half point dog. Yeah. Is, I mean, that, that's out of line. I know Iowa won the Big Ten, but for crying out loud, ten and a half points against a team that won the Atlantic Ten, who's very good. They brought back super seniors, which means they were in college for like 15 years. <laughs> yeah. Shore and Lynn neck and neck for the title, both about 45 bigs. Jeff Pine alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth. Where do we take those pictures? Do you remember? I just don't remember the the ones that are that they use yeah. for us. Uh, I think mine was when I was playing. No, because you have a mic on. Oh, unless you think it's from that. I think that it was one final that was at a final table. Once. Yeah, yeah. But where was yours? Was yours outside the studio when we took little photos? No, it wasn't outside. Shore with aces. 
with the wheel draw. Shannon and his wife, Joy, have a baby girl, Nora, is four months old, says that's changed his life, no surprise. Oh yeah, and they, by the way, Shannon and Joy, they just got married like two weeks ago. Oh wow. Yeah. Congratulations to the Shores. Shannon with almost $9.5 million in career life tournament earnings. Went to the University of Alabama. Mentioned this before, big Crimson Tide fan. Loves it. Goes to all the, well, all the big football games he'll go to. I think he was at the national championship game this year against Georgia. Probably was not thrilled by the end of that one. But overall has to be right. thrilled with program success. Look at the payouts presented by Storm X. Both of our final two guarantee $148,800. Almost $214K up top. Ren Lim looking for his sixth career tournament win. Shore looking for his 12th. This is Lin's first career at US Poker Open Cash. Shore's third. Two caches last year, Check. including a ninth place finish in event number one. This is fourth PGT series event one cache in the last year. Check. Just Check. comes in right off the bat, gets the job done. A little and Motown Fox delivery pair. here, yeah. I'm going to give you a little update. How about this? From the oh, yeah. uh, PLO event. Please Let me do. pull this up. Yeah, if you guys want to check out the live reporting, go to PGT.com. And a tremendous job on our Instagram page yeah. as well at PokerGo News. Antonio putting together some awesome stories, a real behind the scenes feel gives you a sense of what you're looking at in these tournaments. Okay, so uh, PLO is up to 51 entrants. It's a 10K buy-in event, Ooh, and I'm going to give you the top you. five. Ready? Let yeah. <laughs> Damjan Radanoff, chip uh -huh. leader, 800,000. Second in chips, yeah. sports cards. Jared Blesnick, oh, let's go. second in chips. Tommy Lay is third. Sam Sovereil, fourth. Mr. Biscuits. And then fifth is Zach L Lakin, who I saw out there. This guy, Zach Lakin has uh, bleach blonde hair. He looks like that guy from Fight Club, who I believe was Jared Leto. When he was oh, in yeah, the movie, yeah. and remember when uh, Brad Pitt, Tyler Durden just bashed him? Yeah. Felt like destroying something beautiful. Uh, that's that guy. So he looks like Leto from Fight Club. And what's his name one more time? Zach Lakin. Okay, so maybe you'll see him tomorrow on yeah. our final table coverage. And again, that is PGT.com. Uh, you can find a lot of great stuff on our website, but live reporting for event number two is happening there. And Ali Najad and Len Ashby, again, they will be your commentators tomorrow. Double gutter for Lynn. Shores King High, best at the moment. Also has a backdoor flush draw. See Max Coleman over the shoulder of Renlin. He lost heads up to Blesnick at last year's U.S. Poker Open. Shore just folds the king high. Nice work by Renlin. This 
just been awfully quiet as of late. You know, I know Shannon's not much of a talker, but usually Ren Lynn is running the old trap nonstop. Talking about Lady Gaga, Tom I, Brady, know, no gamble, no future. Yeah. I feel like we see this all the time where the talk just disappears when you get to heads up play. Yeah. <clears throat> Also, we've started to see a lot in this last year, once players get to heads up, shortening the blind levels. We do not see that, at least not yet, in this one. Typically, though, you know, when they do that, the, the guys are uh, friends have played. Sure. I, I don't think Shannon really knows Tony Tony Lynn very well, or very. They've never really played together, Jeff. I mean, right. Shannon said that there's Just a few recently, guys here right. he's never played with, doesn't know anything about them. Two water, two water. Thank you. Sure, limps, Lynn checks. Short wins with just nine high. Win with the slight chip lead. Do you do the yogurt thing in the morning? Is that part of your breakfast at all? No. Not Does a yogurt, yogurt guy at all? Or no? no, I like yogurt. You do. I just don't. Yeah, it's not. I get the impression Lynn's shop is more a frozen yogurt shop, if that's where you are going with the yogurt thing. Oh, like Gogurt? No, not like, like, not like Gogurt. Like the TCBY. What's that mean? With like the old, TCBY. Uh, I can't believe it's yogurt. You remember those places? You mean like a, like a, like an ice cream? Yeah. Like a more like of a frozen yogurt. I like yeah. that. I like, no, like the ice cream yeah. type. I don't like the, the, the you Greek know, yogurt. The, yeah. yeah. No, I don't. So like Pinkberry, you like Pinkberry? It sure is just flop the wheel. I like flopping straights. Yeah, I bet you I do. love wheels. I love Linda. calling raises with 5-3 suited and just and flopping just it all. Hammering it. That's like a little go-gurt in the pocket. You know, you used Absolutely. to have those in school. 950. The small check raise. Yeah. And this just might be the end of that. Right. I don't know. Tony goes bananas from time to time, although he's never done it with a bluff. I've never seen him get carried away with a zero. But anyway, anyway yeah, you know, I was just curious talk. about the yogurt. You know, what sort of yogurt? Yeah. We're, we got a long heads up match here, folks. We're going to we're gonna drift and talk a lot about yogurt, I'm afraid. Perhaps somebody could bring some yogurt into the I'd love studio. a yogurt, I don't yeah. Know. Steven Chidwick, the winner of this series in 2018, and then David Peters goes back to back. Haven't seen Peters yet. We talked about that. Haven't seen Chidwick yet. I know he was in Prague for that EPT stop. I'm I think he's still if, there. I'm curious if he comes by the Poker Go studio. We have not seen him yet in event number two, the 10K PLO. That's going on right now. Matthew Wantman, Jim Colby, Daniel Negrani, Tommy Lee in the mix. Seidel. I think I see Seidel oh. with Negrano actually playing four cards in a dream, a little PLO. Okay. Trophy hunting.
You think I can Postmates some yogurt? Doesn't seem I like would it love travels to have well. a bite to eat. You, you, yeah. Should we order something from inside, Javier? Well, what if it just ends next hand? Well, then we just well, go eat at Javier's. Eat it. Yeah, we'd still eat it. we got to yeah. get some food in here, yeah, Jeff. Probably, I mean, that, yeah. we're, Our we're, personal assistants could We're approaching dinner hour. Yeah, just. I've really got to eat. No, I know you do. Very hungry. Yeah. Hungry. Right on air. I, I mean, I'll just yeah, eat you talk. Want, yeah, we'll you be, don't mind. Yeah, we'll be, be fine. totally fine. Yeah. Lynn looks down at not just the ace of hearts, but the ace of diamonds as well. Is this the first set of bullets for this for today? It I is. Think so. No one's had aces yet. King four off for sure. Yeah, we've seen him mix up three bets with yeah. the old king crap before. This would be ill-advised. He's got that look. Really trying to sell it. Yeah, gonna reach. It's Bumblebee and time. Lynn loves to see this. There's the three bet. Do you think Lynn just calls here and sets the trap? You gotta. I don't know though. Lynn might go nuts and just That's click true. it back one time. How much? One medium? What a dream for Lynn. He will four bet this one to about 2.4 million, it looks like. He folded. There you go. Still got to get the number. Sure, it gained a bit of a chip lead, and now Lynn with the slight advantage. Would have loved to have seen the old trap yeah. there, Jeff. You know, you got aces. You're you're 50 blinds deep, a little under. So hard to. I mean, yeah, well, you can cool people off from time to time, but let's play a pot. A short, and a short connects in any way. Yeah. Or if he goes bananas. Now, sure, sometimes it comes like four four deuce and you lose, but perhaps a risk you're willing to take. Sure has been very aggressive off the button. I don't think thus far that he has limped in. Maybe there was one or two occasions, but he has pretty much been just straight raise button to 350, 2.2x all along. And I think that it really is his sort of strategy against Lynn. I, I, I think he... He's rewriting a lot of the things that he has soaked in and learned from the high rollers, but he's gone back to exploitative play against Lynn. In other words, the way Shannon Shore is treating this heads-up match with Lynn would be a lot different than, I think, how he would play uh, Jason Kuhn, yeah, for example. Yeah, I gotcha. Lynn going to go for it here with King High in the gutter, and that will work. And extends the chip lead. Sure, plenty deep though, still with 40 bigs heads up. 40 minute levels, starting stack of 125K, 93 entries, 14 paid. Down to our final two. Both guarantee more than $148,000. And almost 214K lies up top for the winner. I've been in and out of chat, but what what is going on, guys, with the uh, talk about pork? Oh. What's what people are against it? What is going on here? Well, some people don't eat pork, but 
Eight eight deuce. You don't like pork? No, I love pork. My wife doesn't like I love pork. But your pulled pork is fantastic. I love pulled pork. I, I made some uh, last or this weekend. I bet it was amazing. Yeah. Was it good? Monday. I smoked it all day long. It's great. Plenty in the fridge. Just trying to figure out and get to the bottom of this pork. I don't know where it all uh, started. Can, yeah, take many different directions there. Ooh, look at this little ticket. So Lynn gets there. With yeah. The better well, he came pair. along for the ride. It was just king high, and now he is completely counterfeited. Sure. Where did that six come from? How did it get there? Short leads for 450, the absolute snap call from Lynn, and he'll show down another winner. The Panda Kika. Craig in the chat says, pulled pork flavor frozen yogurt. Yeah, not, not going in that direction. Don't want to merge those two. Get how you would bring that up with the way the conversation has gone. Look at the chip denominations presented by Storm X. Purple chips were 25K. Yellow is 100,000 a piece. Blind 75K, 125K, and 125,000 big blind ante. Six six tens for Lynn. Do the clubs on the turn. One seventy five. Lynn leads here, shores ace high. going to be good enough to continue. I don't think that as far as any big pots are concerned, and Chad, correct me if I'm wrong, but Shannon Shore has yet to make any sort of big mistake. He's lost a couple small ones. Uh, bluffs gone wrong here sure. or there, but when it matters most, Shore has been spot on. He's faced a lot of decisions. Now Shore faces this bet with ace high. This is exactly what I was getting at. It's, he, he really has nothing but a bluff catcher with just ace high. It, could he be correct again? It's extremely hard to fold. Heads up. You just feel like ace high is good. Uh, what's your opponent have, right? He's either got a six or a ten. That's it. Very hard to have that. Shore did just limp pre in and went check, check wow. on the flop, and he finds the fold wow. again. All day long, Shore has yet to make a misstep. Which is wild because he had a massive chip lead entering heads up play and has lost that lead in significant fashion, yet he has played very, very well. Right. He's played very and, and listen, I'm not taking anything away from, from Tony Lynn sure. here. Obviously, he's got 66% of the chips in play now. Uh, but as far as card distribution, who's run hot here and there, Tony's had the better end of that. Uh, the ace-queen hand where he limped and flopped the nuts against Shore's top pair. There have been some, some wild spots. He's picked up a lot of big hands. Shore now down to 30 big blinds. has got to fight his way back into this match. Everything going right for Ren Lin. But has not closed the door yet on shore. Who remains quite the, the lethal threat. But there's another win for Tony. Tony has made a living out of limping the button in this heads-up match. He's done it so many times. Shannon has not. 
Shore has been coming in with a lot of raises. Except on that last Except stand. Except that last stand with where we had a sign. He still found the right fold. I wonder if Shore now, as he drifts into shallower territory, oh, yeah. if he does adjust that strategy. Here's a beautiful spot to maybe consider doing it. You've got ace nine suited. Would you ever limp and look to just get it in and hope that Lynn ramps up the aggression? There it there is. There is the limp. Yeah, he's already adjusting as that stack drifts. And checks the six three, king nine at five. Back the nines. Turn brings a fourth diamond. No diamond in either player's hand. Tony, Tony, Tony. There it is. Sees the door open. A little sneeze. Absolutely nothing. Sometimes you have to call in these spots, even though you do just have a nine for, for the times you're up against that. That sort of holding, where they have absolutely nothing. And the frequency for how often they give up on the river when they've been called, when you've bet here with 6-3 and no diamond, you are shutting it down. Yeah. You know you can never bluff a diamond. Now here he's getting bailed out. Flush on board. But perhaps if he does get checked to, Shore can then turn his hand mm. into a bluff, right? It looks like he has a diamond. And he does get checked to. Is the door open for sure here? There it is. Is he going to call here? Wow. He will, wow. and we'll chop it up. I mean, that that's, I don't think I'm ever calling in that spot. I, Shannon did everything he could to win that pot. He called correctly, turned his hand to a bluff when he needed to, knowing he has all the diamonds. Lynn says, not so fast. Ah, whatever, I call. Yeah, we'll chop it up. I call. You get the impression he plays a decent amount of Baccarat? Tony, with all this natural nine talk? Oh, probably, yeah. yeah. I've never played, believe it or not, I've never played a single hand of Baccarat. Really? I have no clue how that game works. I would like the sweats. Well, I mean, if it's gambling, I'm probably yeah, going to like it, in. Jeff. Yeah. Look at our schedule rest of the way tomorrow. Final table of event number two, the 10K PLO. Ali Najad, Len Ashby on the call. Brent and I are back in a couple days for the next 10K No Limit. We'll introduce more games into the mix. We'll take us out of the booth for event four and six, thankfully. Now it's Lynn limping in with ace high. King nine eight, all spades. Pair of nines for sure. He does have the three of spades. It's the ace of spades for Lynn. That's one hundred seventy-five thousand. Short check calls with the ninths. Another eight on the turn. Check, check, check ace on the river. Lynn again finds the right ticket. Yeah, and it is uh, it is value city for Lynn. That is just as good as making a flush. You have to believe you're up against a nine or a king, unlikely in eights. It's possible, but you have to bet for value here with this river ace. And that's exactly what Lynn will do. Great 
pretty sizable, almost pot. Yeah, he knows it's good. It, it, 625,000. Yeah. Shore flicks in the call. He will see the bad news once again. And what a run for Ren Lin, who has completely turned this tide on this heads up match. It's Lin Sanity 2.0, Jeff. It's happening. Here comes Tony. No gamble, no future. Making us proud in the booth, Jeff. <laughs> Where, I mean, that's our show, man. That's our hat. That's He's our got shirt. The gear. That's. He's got the swag. We need to get back in the booth and record. We I, do. How, with how him. Do we, with him? Yeah. Now his should say no yogurt, no future. True. He's got that True. yogurt yeah, yeah. shop, right? That, yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. We'll let him wear you ours doing for doing well now. until then. Yep. Yep. Shore the ace nine of diamonds. 21 bigs. Yeah. Do we set the trap or do we just open rip? We could obviously just do a raise. He's got all three options yeah. in his arsenal right now with this stack. He'll choose a race. How much you guys have Lynn calls with queen five. Jack eight eight. Oh, Queen on the turn. Wow. Lane's Tony is unstoppable. Continues. He's unstoppable right now. Now, these were the stacks, essentially, when heads-up play began. Shannon Shore had 9 million chips <laughs> to Tony Lynn's 2.5, 2.6 million. Everything has been reversed. Check. Shore did turn a gutter. Checks back. River is a 3. Again, this is just straight value right here. Knows the queen is good. He's quite certain Shannon's trying to get the showdown with ace high. Now, keep that in mind. How easy is it to bluff this spot? If you know your opponent has ace high, Shannon's sort of wearing it on his forehead, then you should be trying. You should be getting bluffed a lot here too, right? Meaning you can call with ace high. I mean, look at this board. You've got ace nine. Hard for him to have nine ten. Yeah, we're worried about an eight from time to time, but. It's just frustrating, it, you know. Another a, a good Great fold. decision, great decision. That is not easy to do with ace high. I'm, I'm sure it's frustrating for sure, but if he's been able to check the tape over what's happened, or if we get to a point where he's able to, he's going to be pleased with the laydowns that he's made. But it really is. I mean, he's done nothing wrong. He's playing great poker. This is just the, the nature of the beast. Yeah. What can make this game so entertaining can also make it such torture. Yeah, and it's, you know, Shannon, because he is such a, a grizzled vet, right? He, he, he's been through the ringer. He knows it's all about making great decisions and playing his best game. He's done that here today. It's all you can do. It's all you can ask for. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way. You, you don't win. Now it's not over. He's got plenty of life. He's got 20 bigs. And he has ace jack here. All in. How much are they? Two million? Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Okay. Perhaps trying to tell Shore I can limp with some good ones. But he can. We've seen Lynn limp with Ace Queen offsuit on the button when they were very deep, uh, which, uh, you know, you don't see that ever, really. I, it, Clearly capable of it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the 2022 World Series of Poker is right around the corner. There's no better time than now 
to lock in a Poker Go subscription so you don't miss any of the action. Sign up for a new annual subscription or upgrade now using the promo code USPO22 to save $20 off the early price. Is it me or does Daniel with that look, the hat, the hoodie, no glasses, does he kind of look like Pads Poker? Yeah, like Patrick I can Leonard. see he's that. Got a little, yeah. He's got a little of that going on, right? Shore with a pair of fives, fires, Lynn calls, a couple backdoor draws. Another deuce pops up on the turn. Pads puts out some great content on Instagram. Just some good vlogs of his Is either online right? play or live play. It's tremendous. I don't know if I I'm going to follow him right now. Follow I don't him. think oh, I well, you that, have to. I'm also terrible at Instagram. Yeah, you're pretty bad. Well, I so don't I. check we, stories. Lynn finds a no good four on the river. Leads for 325. Remember, sure has no time banks left. Does make the call, and he is good. This is going to feel good yeah. for, for sure. Perhaps gaining a little momentum back. Yeah, this is going to feel really to good. Fly for my man. Little gulp. A little sigh of relief. Okay, we're back okay, in back. business. Yep. 25 bigs. We're a double up away from, well, really being the chip leader. At event number one. 2022 U.S. Poker Open. Ren Lynn, Shannon Shore. Heads up for $213,900. 214 points in the race for the Golden Eagle Trophy. for sure. Yeah, little bluff catcher sort of hand. Lynn has been limping all of his hands. I love to see it 100% of hands, and he'll stab these boards, as he should, right? Yeah. He's mixed it up with various aces. Can have a pair here. You have no pair, no draw. You got a bet right now. There's a very good chance. If you're going to get a fold, it's on this street. You have no way of winning this pot. Yes, we see he's got backdoor better diamonds, but that is the only shot he's got. Then you learn the bad news, you move on. Unless you get some sort of equity on the turn. And that is the one of the worst cards in the deck for him to want to consider. Value Town for Alabama. Oh, what in the world? Oh, this is courageous. This is ridiculous. Is he going to pull the trigger here? Yes, sir, he Whoa. is with just eight high. With the deuce in his hand. Says, uh -huh, yeah, he knows, sure, that's sort of a blocker bet. It looks like a 10 all day long. And he tries to pounce. Will this work? Shannon has made, again, every decision has been right. He's out of time banks right. here. He's got, he's got 15 seconds right now. That's it. Ten 
called. Sure, make another oh, correct wow. decision. Yes, he does it. Says call. That call is good. Ridiculous again. Huge decision for sure. Out of time, Banks, and he's correct every single time today. In this spot, he's been right. Back up to 4.2 million. Go ahead. Okay. Two hands left at this level. Shannon Shore certainly not going to go quietly into the night. It, it's impossible not to be impressed with Shannon yeah. Shore. I, we, I know we've had him on a number of times. He won a Poker Masters event. But what, what he has gone through today, what we have seen on display is, is it's quite remarkable. This kid is so good. Carmen says in the chat, short decision making is extraordinary. Well said. Craig says the guy is playing sick. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Can I have your oh, 125? 125, yes. Lynn with the king seven of spades. Jack nine four, one spade, two pair for sure. Backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw, king high. Call. I'll check call. Turn brings the five of diamonds. Six twenty-five. Six twenty-five. Sizing up here on the turn. Now to put King High into the muck. Here he comes. About four point six million now, almost forty bigs. High tide is starting to come in, Jeff. This, uh, the shore, the water's flowing, Jeff. <laughs> Giant waves. Well, well said. Yeah. What a comeback, 4.7 billion. Both players now have really, they're, they're feeling the pressure, right? Now I think Shore's a little relieved. You put yourself inside that that headspace. Lynn has got to be reeling right now, thinking, what's going on? I, I had him. I had him on the ropes. <gasps> Lynn bets. Lynn wins. Lynn sends us off to break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The battle <laughs> continues. Yeah, don't go anywhere. We've got ourselves one heck of a heads up match. <laughs> Shannon Shore versus Ren Lin before we go to break. Let us take a look at the chip counts. And that look at the leaderboard presented by Global Poker, free poker at its best. Ren Lin's name still on top, about 7.2 million. Shannon Shore at 4.4 million. Heads up play continues. When we return, stay with us. Brent, you're a big racing guy. You'd understand the reference. There. I'm really starting to get into racing, yeah. believe it or not. The uh, the F1 series. Drive you to tell, survive. You're, you're telling me about Ooh. this documentary series. You and I had the opportunity to go to dinner with a, a NASCAR racer, Landon Castle, a couple weeks ago. That's Talked about under the hood. Really was the parallels with. How they, how they run sims for NASCARs, or NASCAR, in accordance to the track and the conditions, very similar to the sims you hear about in today's day and age with <laughs> poker. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's how to optimize Alabama. performance. Their sport has evolved much like this game has evolved. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> watching video, how good. 
Side out with the queen nine of spades. He's our shortest stack, but not a short stack. Still about 25 bigs to start this hand. He'll defend. Jack All right. 10 4 with one spade and one diamond. So an open ender for both and a backdoor flush draw for both. But let there be action. Seven. Sure, that's small here. Sidehow keeps finding himself in these spots out of the big blind where he just has a, a great price Four. for drawing. Brings another jack. Okay. No flush draw now for either player. I think Shore has a right to be concerned about Seidel. If he had a jack, he may elect to play it very similar to this. He would just check call flop. He would absolutely check the turn with trips. 270. Oh my, Shore says He's gonna blow Seidel out of the yeah, water well done. here Don't with a huge thing. second barrel. That's beautiful yeah, stuff by Shore. Yeah, it was two Can thirds, be. gets the job done. I thought the ace three shoot it. Oh, but I think a turn is good for him. Yeah. I don't like Alabama. Two more hands left at this like level. Him, bro. <laughs> he, <may have> him. <laughs> he might like Shannon, but maybe he doesn't like the state of oh. Alabama. That That's reasonable. You think Tony's been to Bama? Well, yeah, he, but he's yeah, got he frozen some, yogurt oh, shops in Georgia. in Georgia. Why yeah. wouldn't he been in Alabama? Yeah. Maybe they didn't let him open up his yogurt shop in Alabama. Perhaps. We got to go to that yogurt shop. I love yogurt. Not surprised. Negrano with the green cup. Of yogurt. Pretty what is thick he yogurt. eating? What is it like <laughs> some sort of vegan chili? What is that? Looks like goulash. I mean, he eats almost as much as Phil Helmuth <coughs> does at the table. Sure. Different Slightly diets, healthier. of course. Yeah. yeah. Shore leads on the turn. And whoa, look at this. Oh, my. With just the Jack 7 offsuit. I did no not club. know he had this in him. Is he really going to go for this? I, this would, seconds. this could work. Three, ten, five. Makes no it 325,000. With a stone zero holding. He has absolutely nothing. Oya, oh, yeah. YOLO. Ten seconds. Call. Shore makes the call. Wow, look at that. He does not believe him whatsoever. I don't know river, and now. Oh, wow, he's going oh, yeah. fast, reaching quick. Jack in his hand, perhaps a little more valuable. Six seventy-five. Comes after it, six hundred seventy-five thousand. Wow. This is really strong by Oya. Absolutely targeting a one-pair holding, exactly what Shannon has. Even if, even if you had king six in this spot, you're not loving life. Ten seconds. Staring down the chip leader, told us before play, he was pretty unfamiliar with Masashi. This is where Shannon's experience, his instincts. Look at this. So he's trying to pick up anything he can. He's doing little movements with his mouth. This is great. Oh. <clears throat> can sure find the call. 10 seconds. Oh, 
Sophia's not giving him anything. Looks, anything. Right looks right back at him, kind of looks comfortable, yet nervous at the same time, which I think he'd look exactly the same if he had a good hand. This is beautiful. That's what it's all about right here. So the moment <laughs> yeah. to find a final table performance. This is all about your instincts. He says what a call. call. What a call. <clears throat> And Shannon Shore drags a sizable pot after that hero call. Elmuth will probably Shulman. play that. Shulman. But we get all sorts of folks. Chris Vitch comes out from L.A. We saw Max uh, Coleman. He's here. He specifically plays PLO. A lot of mix. This guy. Jared Blesnick, who loves sports oh, cards, Blesnick. he will come out and play some mix. You know, our sports cards interview was at last year's U.S. Poker mm -hmm. Open. Blesnick yeah. won a title. Right. No bluff, no bluff. Don't bluff. Me too. Uh, and <laughs> Chisinga in the chat says they lied. Negreanu is not here. Well, he busted. Danny Negreanu got fourth place. He's out the door. You can see him in the background behind Shannon Shore when we go to his ISO, if you're just trying to look at him. Heads up play continues at the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. Coming to you from the Aria Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, and inside the Poker Go Studio, where we have raised the blinds to 75K, 150K. With the 150K big blind, Andy, Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth. Brent, what a battle we have on our hands. Uh, just back and forth, and it, it, you know, it's hard not to be impressed by both of these guys, but Shannon Shore, every big decision here today, he has been 100% correct. If he keeps that up, he's gonna be impossible to beat. About 75 bigs on the table, Lynn, with more than 60% of the chips in play. Shore limps in with ace four. Seen a lot more limping as his stack has gotten shorter. Lynn checks the queen five of spades and flop strip queens. He's been doing this all day. Lynn smashing flops. That's what allowed him to take a, a huge chip lead. And it's really been the, the Shannon Shore skill set that has kept him alive in this match. The card distribution has not been in his favor. Lynn will just lead here for 200K. Shore will come along with ace high. Five of clubs on the turn, the full house for Lynn. Will lead again. For half pot. Now keep in mind, this is a, a, a limped pot where Shore just limped it on the button with ace high. Lynn smashes and leads 200, which is what seemingly has set this, this trap, if you will. It, Shannon did not want to give up ace high on the flop. Certainly don't fault him for that. And then how about this? Another great fold. Yeah. If he had a club in his hand, he may want to continue. Again, gets away correctly. Two parallel storylines to this heads-up match have to be Lynn's comeback and Shore's decision-making. Right. Yeah. So we take a look at the leaderboard presented by Global Poker, free poker at its best. Lynn with a little bit more than 7.5 million. Shore, about 4 million in chips. Oh yeah, Negreanu, Seidel, Chong. Rounded out our final table. What club did we walk into for that music? We've had a variety yeah. of music today. It, it, it's all over the place. Kind of cool, I like the variety. Did you choose the, the package? No, no, I did not play DJ for the role of the U.S. Poker Open. Seems right up your way. Oh, yeah. Slide yeah, all I mean, these hits absolutely. home. Yeah. If we hear Celine Dion, I know this was all yep, you. I know, yeah. If we hear that towards yeah, the end. It's been difficult to acquire the rights to Celine. Carrie and I are talking through a few things as far as that's concerned. Right. Costs a pretty penny. Worth it, though, in my opinion. Sure. 
Yeah. Lynn again, limps button, sure. How much? Rip City. And there's there's no reason to really ask for a count. I mean, you want you want to know, I think, the next hand where where your opponent's at, but there's no sure. decision to be made here. A little posturing here by by Tony. It's seven five offsuit, never calling. I mean, imagine the winning moment of a poker tournament being accompanied by my heart will go on blaring in the background. You've seen it. I bet you've seen Titanic hoops on Twitter, right? When somebody is, hits that big and great. it's fantastic. I, I, I agree, yeah. Could do the same thing for poker. Yeah. Just need the rights. All right. Tony, my man. Tony, we got come seven on, five. This is uh oh, he's allowing me to talk more about Celine. Really no reason for this, man. I mean, unless you're just trying to like psychologically warp your opponent and yeah, you know, you realize how good Shannon Shore has been. You just aren't going to get inside Shannon's head like that. He's not going to make the decisions based off no, and these it, little quirks. Listen, people posture sure. all the time. Shannon sure. has seen part this his game. entire yeah. career. He probably just expects it for the most part. Look at our chip denominations presented by StormX. PokerGo's exclusive cryptocurrency partner. Purple chips, 25K apiece. Yellow bumblebees, 100,000 each. Sixes for sure. Backdoor flushed off for Lynn. Lynn check calls here. Turn brings the Jack of Diamonds. This is great from Efro Poker on the Efro. Poker Go chat. He says that Shannon is playing as well as Phil Helmuth thinks Phil Helmuth plays right now. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, that's so true. Well said. Check, check on the turn. River brings the King of Hearts. going to try here. Oh, maybe. And an okay hand to do it with. There's the queen in his hand, able to represent queen 10 quite easily. Not too worried about your opponent ever having that. Favorable run out, full of over cards. Splashes in 575K. Again, no time banks left for Shannon Shore. Yeah, it is a limped pot. We know Tony can bet for value quite thin. Would he do it with a jack or a king with this sizing? Unlikely that he has an ace. Ten no club in Shore's hand. A stone bluff catcher. Again, Shannon Shore has been right all day. If he makes the call here with bottom pair, now he's not doing Can't it. Do it. I don't dare call this one a big mistake. No, though, right? that's no, just that's a great a, bet. That's very difficult. Yeah. That's a very difficult spot, and he's had him all day. But that, that's a great bet by by Lynn to get that thing through. I wouldn't call that a critical pot. Here's a look at event number two going on at our outer table. Negranu and Seidel at the same table. There's Kerry Katz, Alex Foxen in the mix. All right, there's, Dan Shack. Yeah, and there's the guy from oh, Fight yeah. Club. There's, uh, there's <laughs> That's the guy that Tyler Durden destroyed his face. Dan Shack finished 12th in this event for $18,600 and 19 points on the board. Or with Ace King after Lynn limped in with the 9 4 off. Six fifty. 
650. We'll bump it up to 650,000. Yeah, shoots it sky high here. Massive race sizing. We saw Eric Seidel out there. We're lucky to be joined by him. For just one quick question, Eric, your thoughts on how this final table went for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, yeah, great players. Uh, yeah. Shannon, really good. He's tough. Uh, uh, Daniel Negreanu. Uh, it wasn't my day today, but it's it a great event. Well, thank you for the time. We'll send you back out there to event number two. Yeah, that, thanks, Jeff. Yeah. All right, that's Eric Seidel. How about that? Jumping in the booth real quick. Let me get this headset back on. Yeah, yeah. It really cool to, to have him great. stop by and join us. Love when Seidel stops in here. And hopefully we'll be able to check in with him throughout the course of the series. Sure, yeah, I'm sure he will. Very talkative guy. Comes in here all the time with loves you and the I. Camera, He's a big friend of ours, you know. Yeah. It, it's great to have him in the mix at the USPO. Finished in fifth place. Oh, right. Kick things off at this series, 74 points. It's a guy who could certainly play at the 25K price point, at the 50K price point as well. Sure with the king at deuce has been hovering around this 3.5 million, 4 million chip mark for a while now. And makes the call with the jack five off. And does flop a jack. All day long, smashing flops. And now Shore with a little taste. He's got a duckling. And it's trouble, right? You're never going to, if you flop a pair of heads up, this drive a texture, you just, uh, you're going with the hand in some way, shape, or form. Here it's a value bet. 250. To the tune of 250,000. <laughs> and the check raise with top pair is 650,000. Shore will continue. More than 2.2 million in this pot. Shore with 3 million behind. Oh. And the turn brings another deuce. Huey, Dewey. Three ugly ducklings. We got a 3 million, right? What a card for Shannon Shore. The most beautiful one in the deck. The two of spades. Lynn fires turn, which is beautiful to see if you are Shannon Shore. That is 825,000. I think a genuine look back just to make sure he has the hand he, he thought he had. Yeah, that's, that's, three, that's three ducks right there, Jeff. Mallards everywhere, quacking. Flicks in the call. 3.9 million in this pot. Rivers the all seven in. of clubs, the snap all in, the snap call, and Shannon Shore has found the double up. Wow. Just like that, the tide has turned once again in this heads up match. Shannon Shore now with that chip lead. He was oh so close, rewarded with trips on the turn. Two million. And I, I don't fall in there. That's a value shove with a jack on the river. He's targeting a six. Huge swing in the match. Shore sees the good news. My man, I think he got eight. It's high, ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Jeff Pine alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth with you for event number one of the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. And that is a pile headed in Shore's direction. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, if, if you missed the last two hours of play and just sat back down to catch up with the heads up match, you'd think nothing happened, yeah, right? <laughs> Shannon Shore had a huge chip lead when things started, but it was, it was Tony Lynn 
who took it over. He had nearly 10 million chips at one point, and Shore has come storming back with perfect play. Lynn now down to just a little bit more than 20 bigs. With the king, six of diamonds here. off for sure in the big. Right now, mentally, if you're Lynn, uh, this is an uh, this is a very difficult spot to be in. Your headspace is is completely clogged. He did what he needed to do. He came storming back, took the chip lead, was feeling the flow. Everything was great. Felt like he was going to win this thing, and then disaster. It all flipped. Right back Shannon to where you Shore, started. Yeah, yeah. It, it, this is where you really need to be rock solid mentally when it comes to your decision making. Shore leads for 150K with the open ender. Lynn Snap calls with the sixes, the backdoor flush draw. The straight comes in for Shore on the turn. You can just sort of feel that, that universal shift. That two on the turn changed everything. Sure now has his opponent essentially drawing dead. What a check back, very deceptive. Four clubs on the river. Sure check the turn, he's not gonna do it here. You gotta try and extrapolate some value with your straight. Hope you get paired, but get called by one pair, maybe two pair. Great sizing, so milky. Lynn does find the fold. Shore's chip lead does get extended. That is roughly 75% of the chips in play again for Shannon Shore. Lynn perhaps a bit frustrated. You see him shaking his head. About a 65K difference between second and first, a 65 point difference as well in the race for the series championship in that Golden Eagle trophy. Shore limps in with Jack Four. Lynn checks the five deuce of clubs. Jack seven four. Two pair for Shore. A couple back door draws for Lynn. Who will lead for two hundred thousand? Saw him lead with the goods. Now he leads here. Short will raise flop, and Lynn will have to lay down the five deuce of clubs. Shannon Shore has regained control this tournament. Yeah, and Lynn now, again, under 20 big blinds. He's got 17 bigs in his stack. A look at the payouts there, presented by Storm X, Poker Go's exclusive cryptocurrency partner. $148,800 for second. Almost 214k for first. And pole position at the U.S. Poker Open. Lynn with a pretty one. Bumps it up with the king jack of hearts. Oh. Sure with the ace king of diamonds. Whoa. This could be it. If Shore rips it in here, I don't think Lynn's going to fold King Jack suited heads up with this stack. Ten seconds. All in. All of it. Place it all in. 
Lin make the call here. With the King Jack of Hearts. Is this too good? A fling and a time bank for 30 seconds more to decide. Couple glances at the tournament clock. Another time bank. Tossed into the middle. I gotta give Lynn a lot of credit for taking this much time with this sort of hand. He feels he's in really bad shape, he is right. So shocked if he can get away from this. All right. There he it is. does make the call. Okay. Here we go. He will see the bad news. Ren Lin all in and at risk with the King Jack suited against Shannon Shore's Ace King suited. Can Shore finally shut the door? Or do we play on? Lin's able to win this. He's at almost 40 bigs. Comes the flop. Ace, eight, seven. That's gonna zap the drama right out of it. Lin will have to go runner, runner. We can give him a sweat on the turn, on, right? Yeah. At least a sweat? Ah, oh, it's the six and that really will do it. it for Whoa. Tony Lynn, and that <clears throat> means that Shannon Shore has kicked off the 2022 U.S. Poker Open with a win. He takes down event number one for $213,900 and Brent 214 points in the race for that Golden Eagle trophy. It's March after all, and it was total madness sure. at this final table, Jeff. Great showing yeah. by Ren Lin. No Campbell, no future, always entertaining. Class act, love having him here, and it's it's this guy, Shannon Shore, Alabama himself. How about the emotions, the, the adversity? Uh, he's feeling it, right? That was a hard-earned victory for him. One final look at the payouts presented by Global Poker, free poker at its best. Shannon Shore's name on top of the leaderboard, winning almost 214K, Ren Lin, Masashi Oya, and the Poker Hall of Famers, Daniel Negreanu and Eric Seidel. Joseph Chong rounding out our final table. Brent, there is our champion. How did he get it done today? Roll Tide! I'll tell you what, man. It's his skill set on full display. He shows you why he's one of the best No Limit Hold'em tournament players in the world. I'd say that's a well-deserved win, to say the least. What a way to kick off this series. And we still have 11 events left. The race for the Golden Eagle Trophy is on. Thanks so much to our crew. Thanks to Brent Hanks, and most importantly, thanks to you all for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for final table coverage of event number two, the 10K Hot Limit Omaha.